Hello again, Sneedville. I am Rich Baritone, and this is a huge day. Tyree Sneed is under arrest. He is in jail in Texas right here and right now, baby. So it is a very, very exciting day. So I thought it might be an appropriate evening to stream. It's something that I don't do really a whole heck of a lot, but if I was ever going to, today would be the day. What I'm going to start off with here this evening is a brand new Baritone Reed Sneed. I just released it not 10 minutes before this show, and it's simply titled, What a Great Day, and it certainly is. After that, we will have what could be Tyree Sneed's last song for a long time, ironically titled, How Happy I Am. I'm certain that that isn't true right now. And then after that, it's going to be his last stream, a world filled with envious, hating, jealous, whatever the hell. And then we're going to follow that up and close off our evening with his next to last stream, which was Don't Act Like You Forgot About Me, My Scooter Company, right around the corner. So let's go ahead and roll this here thing Negative 43 KU at TTV. Hello again, Sneedville. I am Rich Baritone, and this is Baritone Reed Sneed right here on Negative 43 KU and TV. It is a glorious day. It is September 4th, 2022, as I record this, and Tyree Sneed has been arrested. Not going to go into the... Hello to everybody that's here very early. We're going to be here for about three hours, three and a half hours. And if you've been doing anything like what I've been doing, everybody's strapped up pretty good. Good evening, everyone. Which is really going to work against him in a legal sense. So let's take a look right now at what may well be the final community post from Tyree Sneed. What did he say? It's ironic. Truth cuts like a razor, don't it? Yep, it certainly does. Take a look at where you're at now. You are correct. Please keep telling me how you can't compete. Please don't stop. <laughs> Again, irony because we're not stopping, but, but you are. Isn't that funny? Here is one that turned out to be a real rip tickler from 16 hours ago. It says, remove yourself from anywhere you don't feel valued. Well, you don't feel valued by society at large, so you have removed yourself from society. I, I think it's a positive thing overall. How you like all these vehicles I own. About to buy a shitload more. You worried about my progress? Keep stressing. <laughs> well, you, you don't own the vehicle that we're looking at right now. And I'm not going to show the whole thing because we have all seen the car. It's a black Mercedes with what appears to be a European license plate on the back. Probably a German license plate on the back. You're fooling nobody. You don't have a money to buy a shitload of shit, let alone a shitload more of cars. And we're not worried about your progress. We never have been worried about your progress. Your progress, as it were, is at an absolute stop now, at least for, as they used to say, the immediate right now. Stressing? I'm not, but you are. <laughs> Look out for the Ice Monkey Luxury Apparel Clothing Line coming very soon. Well, I, I think this one's been coming for, what, about three years or so? I hear you're going to be having a special on orange jumpsuits. You all mad, huh? Well, actually, I'm not mad. I'm as happy as I have been since the birth of my grandchildren. How does it feel to be powerless? <laughs> Everything I own worth millions, billions, and trillions. 
Y'all ain't got nothing. I love it. Oh, I'll bet you're loving it right now. We won't go into the pictures. We've all seen them. It's his mom's house. We all know it's his mom's house. And yet somehow he doesn't know that we know that it's his mom's house, even though we've been telling him for years that we know it's his mom's house. I need to smoke more right now. And there's a picture of the old back door. I'll bet he didn't know at the time that this was foreshadowing. You're only making me stronger and stronger. My power is growing every second. More you hate, stronger you make me. More black magic you send my way. The stronger you make the chosen one. Liz, keep hating. I need it. I'm feeding off you, bitch. Y'all so stupid, you don't seem to see what's right in front of you. I've been feeding off your energy this entire time. Study your enemy, moron, or you can't beat them. Should have listened to my advice. Yes, you absolutely should have, but yet you didn't. And the really funny thing about this is, you're in no position to delete any of this. And in your psychological evaluation, they will be made aware of your YouTube content, and they are going to see this. I don't think jail is your problem. I think the Austin State Hospital may ultimately be your problem. Anybody can sit on the internet all day hating on one person. That's pathetic. You ain't doing shit, and you have no life. Uneventful, miserable, no money, no happiness, broke, homeless bums. The joke's on you. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. I, do, I don't even have a joke here. I'm just, I'm just so happy I can't stand it. Great conversation, buddy. I'm willing to have it anytime you like, as long as you watch me win nonstop and get sick till you can't take it anymore. I'd say you're you're definitely on a losing bend right now. Actually, this month is one of my most abundant months ever, and there ain't shit you can do about it, cousin. Sit back and watch me rise, no matter what, I'm doing amazing. Yes, you are in fact doing better. At least you'll know where your next meal is coming from for at least the next two weeks. Here's two classics that the psychiatrists are going to love to see. I married us. Christina and I are husband and wife. Ain't nothing coming in between us in our union except jail. It's a divine union. Get mad. Lash out. Okay. You've been checkmated for a long time, pussies. Try harder. It will only be futile. That's on my life. Get some self-awareness and realize all you do is project and talk about yourself. It's hilarious. Christina thinks so too. Oh, P.S. Christina has everything. What do you mean? She has a customized Eddie Bauer Jeep. Are you fucking kidding me? She has a home. She has true love now. She has a real man. She lacks nothing. So how would you tell me anything about my wife? You can't force delusion onto me or anybody again. You can't harass me and threaten me every day and expect to walk away without being locked up for the crimes you've committed. It's that simple. You don't slightly bother me. I win. So then, why haven't you called uh, Christina for help with your bail? Oh, it could possibly be because you put her ass in a sling, too. They want her up in Michigan for death threats because of you. I don't think she's going to want to have anything to do with you anymore. Her troll got out of control, and now she, she's going she's gonna to at least pay a fine for it because of you. You can do all the talking, typing you like. You can't do shit to stop me, promise you that, because you don't accept reality or deal in real terms. You're simple and stupid, and I laugh at you. <laughs> no, 
nothing you say exists or is true. It's all wrong, actually. And I don't talk to cowards who pop shit lied and make no coherent sense and then run away when the facts already been established. You have no power. The end. You are nothing. Have nothing. You're wasting your fucking time hating on a mofo who made it 10 grand? What? What is he even talking about? If you know, please tell me in the comments. I'm about to make over a million cash, you all so dumb, you don't even realize I take huge losses in order to make huge gains. Just let that one... Yeah, anyway, 10K was never a goal. Over 1 million cash is the goal, and I'm well on my way. To a psych hole, then you can't stop shit. Keep on hating and typing your delusion. It does nothing for me. Has anybody else noticed that all of a sudden he's using his periods correctly? Hmm, and he says he doesn't watch my shit. I've proven all delusion wrong every single time. Try dealing with and facing reality. Everyone has to, homie. He's definitely, definitely seen it. it. It's so great. This is my game we are playing. Remember that. Don't you ever forget it. I will never lose this game. I'm a veteran at this. I do this. Well, you, you've been in jail before, but it's it sure been a while now, hasn't it? Here is proof that that POS still wants to be with me and is stalking Christina and every reading resonates, hanging onto my energy. So let's stop pretending you all are delusional. You talk fake talk. It means nothing to me. I only care about what's right and exists in this reality and it ain't you. And I see how defensive this tarot reader has bad to be lately. That's what it said, bad to be lately, because you mofos are attacking her because you are so mad at her for just saying the truth. You all threaten and harass and full-fledged attack, slander, lie, and use government... <laughs> Hello, Snow White, everybody say hi now. It's all documented, I have full evidence. Y'all are fucked. I'm untouchable and divinely protected. Suck on that, biatch. I mean, the, the psychiatrist and psychologists that are going to read that, it's going to be really hard to maintain a professional demeanor. I mean, they'll be on the floor laughing the same as we are. I should have two singles dropping to all digital retailers. Hello, Frost. I know you're doing as good as I am. It's coming to all digital stores. Cashless Bane is completely official, legit. I will also be releasing tracks for my artist, Jared333, Hamburger Whack-Off Maestro, and any aspiring artist holler at me. My record label makes more money than any business, and that's a fact. Dedication, perseverance pays off, and we've proved all the lies wrong. He gets off topic here. I got the biggest dick, like I told you, and Christina is going to tell all you punk bitches reality, as always, and put you in your place. Don't run. Face us. Real, true love. And I believe this little one right here is going to be the last one. We don't accept your delusion, and I don't suffer because other PPL weak. Yes, I've had just about all I can stand for right now. I am Rich Baritone, and this has been Baritone Reed Sneed right here on Negative 43 KUNT TV. And until the next time, I'll talk to you. Okay, that was Baritone Reed Sneed. Now we're going to hear some really bad music. How happy I am. It's Tyree Sneed. God, please forgive me for doing this.
I know you can see how happy I am, and it kills you. There's nothing you can do where I wouldn't bother you. They say that I make you happy, but I haven't got a clue. So how about you get happy like me, and I wouldn't bother you. Twenty people in the house. It's it's pretty cool. Now it goes down to eighteen. I had to open my mouth. Hey there, I'm another little faggot bitch, and while we're talking here, can I suck your dick? Cause I feel like I suck the life out of you. I'm an undercover succubus, just so full of shit I can't see straight. I'm riding a long ass fuck you bus. I know you can see how happy I am, and it kills you. There's nothing you can do where I wouldn't bother you. They say that I make you happy, but I haven't got a clue. So how about you get happy like me and I wouldn't bother you? I don't know who you something to, cause to me you suck. What the fuck was the point of all that wasted time? And why are you acting like you represent prison culture? Hide behind a computer and never even did a dime. Why are you acting as if you're not a walking contradiction? What's with the fake speak, the fake talk? What makes you think that just because you say a lie, everyone has to accept it? Do you understand how unfair you are and that you can't be? How you don't say how you feel, don't have any love inside of you? If you don't show the world what there is to see, we will never know what's in your heart you see. The feelings that you clearly have for me. What's wrong with standing up and saying something beautiful? No matter who feels what way, what anyone thinks, no matter how your fake ass friends react, because they hate me and hope that my shit stinks. Right is right, wrong is wrong, and you ain't living right. I've got empathy, I'm nothing like you, but I'll always make a stand in bravery to say what I feel, cause a slave I'll never be, I crave the truth, no matter how ugly, uncut, and raw it may be, I've told the entire world the truth about me, so what the fuck you gotta say to me, I'm inspiring, I stand for everything anyone would want, and anyone comes against me, or my movement is a goner. And I don't hold any reservations about protecting what the fuck is mine. All my hard work, my ethic, my father instilled in me. That should be rewarded, not punished. Just because you lack doesn't give you the right to wish on me a heart attack to try to hold me back. And even you as a cold and heartless bitch as you may be, have to hear this message. You don't have the right, nor is it... Good evening, Carrie So Very. Say hello, everyone. Fear ...because of what other evil people did to you. When will you grow as fine and take it out on all the fake people around you and keep you stagnant? Keep you hating, keep you losing with the third party like this is a limit date. Success isn't easy, it doesn't come cheap. A lot of fools who tried to achieve what I've already accomplished ended up in the deep. Starving, dying of AIDS, looking like a skeleton like Meryl Street. There is no way you can't get some imagination and conscience and realize you're supposed to be a part of our human race. You're no different than me. You have the desire inside of you, I've seen it, and it's innate. Stop replacing the love you desire with hate. Stop letting other miserable bitches sit there and predict your fate. I know you're not happy, but who is to blame for that? Look in the mirror and realize you're an individual. You have to stand up and grow up and take responsibility for your actions, which up to this point have been wrong. That's why everyone looking at you, look, what type of shit is this bitch on? No, you can't disrespect a real man just because you wish you could be like me. No, you can't love me or want me, but not be with me and be with a stranger who it's all a fake joke with just to make someone jealous and create anger. Just because you're overzealous, you know what the fuck I realize is I don't want success. I don't want love if it comes from the cost of me being myself. And that was his last song. And now here is his last stream. It's two hours, Argue. 32 minutes, and four down. seconds long. Take Enjoy. Care. Don't put up with nothing. You know what I mean? And take you to court if need be. It's not a problem. It always helps to start at the beginning. Well, maybe not that much. All right, now that my ears are... Obviously, I have had a technical difficulty here. Please stand by.
Only a little bit embarrassing. Let's continue. Hang on. Sit there and whine and bitch and, and fucking just do the same cycle, man. Over and over I again. hate StreamYard. Carrying on now. With me. But what I'm going to do is keep whooping your monkey ass. I'm going to keep fucking y'all up and saying the truth about the society and what's going on in it and just the real aspects, man. So does anyone want to come on panel and debate? Again, I'm going to tell you this one more time that, fuck, you're delusional as fuck. You were not successful in any way, shape, or form. You did nothing but apply for a free government PPP loan. That makes you a faggot. That makes you a bitch. That makes you a failure. That doesn't make you a man. That means that you couldn't make it on your own. You can't make any capital on your own. You're not a man if you don't make your money for yourself off of hard work. That's the first thing you need to know, nut fuck. Number two, you old-ass man just like that old sack of shit bag of bones bitch. I, I like the old school stuff, say, man, Deezy, the old school stuff. I've been beautiful stuff. my whole life. When I, when I would walk in the club, bitches would go crazy over me. I'd shut down and take over the club. That old bitch was jealous of my looks. All y'all know what it is, man. So like I said, what's crazy is we got bitches who pussy, and they don't say nothing because they have nothing to say. Hey, you got trounced with the facts. You chose to remain silent. We have an active link. You not blocked. Let me check and make sure because I know you not blocked. All right, dead uh, air. Ah, yeah, there he is. Mm -hmm. All them bullshit ass readings talking about trying to give you excuses. Nah, this shit was all intentional, man. This was a narc. This was narc narking trying to break down a human being this entire time. And we all tired of your shit, man. Christina tired of your shit. You know what I mean? Like I said, we already know what y'all going to do, man. Y'all going to try to bother Christina, harass her like you harass anybody who fuck with me and down for me and just say the basic truth. So what? Christina don't give a fuck. It's not going to phase her. I trust Christina with my life, man. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something. You know how you try to turn everybody against me? Try it with Christina. See if it works. Because every reading tell me the truth that she's down for me completely. Thank you, GZ. Come on back. Going to be here for a while. to say and knows who she loves and what she wants, and she sees everything in me that I don't even see. She sees me as the prize of all prizes, so, like, I'm in a really good place with that. It makes me feel really good about myself. Like, I've never been so proud to be with someone. Like, I'm honestly proud of, of my girlfriend, like, and she's my girl. I've never felt that because I was always with fucking hood rat, ratchet-ass, ghetto-ass bitches, and that might be my fault, but not really, because that's just who I came across and who I met, and I'm not always in that environment. Like, people will tell me, like, I had people in my family that were shit people, and they would tell me, like, you know, like, you know, it's the company you're around, it's the people you're around. Yeah, but it, all of y'all fucked up. So it's not the people I'm around, because you can associate with rich people or poor people on the street. Either way, you're gonna get the same shit. You feel me? People got the same mental issues. All y'all on some narc shit. Like, y'all don't understand, man. Like, anybody who has a problem, I'll take to court. That's number one. I'm in that position. Like, I'm really living that lifestyle. Like, I really am a billionaire. That's number one thing you need to know. Number two thing you need to know is I don't make up stories online. I'm not fucking Dion Smo poopy pants. <laughs> Dion Smo. Uh, Dion Smo, you were hilarious, man. You were fucking funny, bro. You were just straight entertainment. Like, you literally, you, you act like no one has any, like, because you have no self-awareness. Everybody knows what you're doing, that you're sitting there asking. When are you going to come out and say, or, do you take that shit seriously? Like, copying me ain't going to do nothing for you. It's not going to get you no views. Just like that bum-ass bitch had to buy her subscribers. That's why she kept lying to about my subs are genuine. No, they're not. All y'all went to the same plug to get them fake ass subs. My subs are genuine though. That's why I ain't hit a thousand yet. How would you have genuine subs 
but no ring. I mean, you got no clout, bitch. Like I said, the bitch gonna come running. It's just she gonna run into a brick wall and realize, like, holy shit, I really got cut out of this whole equation. Like, why wouldn't you? You're just a bag of fucking dog shit and bones. Nobody gives a fuck about you. I never pursued you. I never had any interest. You had interest in me. You just told me you were going to do things and then tried to come online and paint shit and make it look a different way than what it was because I was being nice to you. Like, okay. But you sweating Christina hard as fuck and she talking to me about it. <laughs> shark tooth. That's your new name now, shark tooth, because you got them short ass teeth. <laughs> shark tooth. Shark Tooth, oh, for real, I can't do this. What's up, Shark Tooth? I know you in the building. Let's go ahead and say hi to Shark Tooth, people. Here's Shark Tooth. Here's Shark Tooth walking through the prison system that she hides behind. <laughs> well, she's backstabbing everyone, so she's getting backstabbed. Hey, this is the life you live. I mean, how does it feel to get cheated on by trash who's got a limp dick? I'm just saying, you hate the people who... Here in a minute, if you haven't seen this before, he's about to claim that he's in Michigan. He wasn't, of course. I'm talking about it because it's relevant because this shit is fresh and it just happened. It's what's going on. Like, this shit is wrong, bro. And we need to change the paradigm and structure on this network and in all these companies and everything that we're doing. We need to change the attitude. I'm putting people in their place right and left, man. That's what y'all don't know about me. The storm is here. You feel me? Real shit. I love it, man. Michigan treat me great. You feel me? There's so much opportunity here. It's yes, he I'm did. It was definitely a bum steer. You're right. He had to say it. And motherfuckers is mad. Be mad. Why? Because I'm happy. You feel me? Christine is asleep, huh? <laughs> I'm having fun. You mad because I'm happy? Does my happiness kill you? Does our happiness here at this network destroy you? We're sorry. We're sorry. Honestly, We're I am sorry. so proud of you, not, girls. I just I can't express it. I'm not sorry. To Fantastic. Any, I'm not sorry for any of my actions. I'm not sorry for any of my words. I stand 100 percent behind it, and I'm tired of people trying to question it. No. It's a no-narc zone. You come around me on that narc shit, hey, you're going to get the same treatment every time. You're going to get hands put on you and feet and probably get stomped the fuck out, and I'm going to laugh in your face, and you're not going to do shit about it. Hello to anybody that, that I may have missed, and you know I mean? say hi if you have Anybody haven't. with a problem can come at me, get at me, and see how it go for them, and see how I get down what I'm about. Feel me? Quit whining and learn the law. Like, for real, for real, learn the law, man. Because, like, now it don't matter. Like, I... I can say and do whatever the fuck I want because I'm with Christina. So I'm protected and I'm safe. And I have my spirit back in me. So, like, I love it, man. Because these people are lost. Like, I don't, I don't fucking destroy them. I, destroy I have them. nothing but admiration. It's like real by. secret agent stuff. Just great. By. I'm still fighting what I'm going through, man. I don't realize something that's very basic kind of seems to help, so I'm trying to stick with that right now. It's crazy. This whole this whole thing is a story. Like I said, I'm gonna be having everything coming that y'all thought that I could or that you knew that I could do, but you wanted to tell me I couldn't because you wanted to put me down, right? Because you hated my confidence. Just like me being good looking was a problem. Right? Hey. Well, if you are good looking, it's certainly going to be a problem now, isn't it? So now the You're not, but it's still going to be a problem. I need to smoke more pot. Nah, actually, there is not going to be any conversation. What I said is going to stand. Yeah, I don't talk to people who betray me. I don't talk to backstabbing little bitches. I don't fuck with people who don't fuck with me. Okay, let me pause this thing for a minute and pray, pray, mind you, that what happened the last time doesn't happen again. I will bet that he is in protective custody, and I am also willing to bet that jail is not his biggest worry right now. His worry should be the Austin State Hospital, 
once they really start interviewing this guy and once they start looking into his YouTube stuff, which he can't delete because he's in jail, it's certainly a 72-hour hold, if not something more substantial. Let's carry on. You know what I mean? You owe Christina an apology. Christina is my wife. You owe Christina an apology for how you treated a human being because you're just wrong. The longer you... You want to take for that? Hey, do what you do. You understand? Because what you don't seem to understand is that for everything you do, you get held accountable and there's repercussions. And it might just be from the universe. Because I don't have to do shit and I'm not I don't have any desire in me to give a fuck. I want to destroy my enemies with success. That's all I want to do. And happiness and love. So like I said, we live in a world filled with narcs and it's me and Christina versus the world. And I'm very happy about this. I'm, I'm so happy about the way everything panned out. I've never had a partner that made me feel this whole again. Yeah, I was talking. I'm just having life. all kinds of fun everything tonight. You, you know do. what? I'm just going to let this shit run. So I know you're hurting, and I hope that you hurt a million times worse than I did, because that's all you ever did to me. And it's wrong. And it's unfair, and it's sick. What you did is sick. What you did is beyond words. And for people to come on here and act like they're proud, you're not proud. You know what you did was wrong. You know what you did was beyond wrong. What you did was demonic. What you did puts you in hell. We don't think that's cool. We don't have to agree with you. We don't have to support your lies and false testimony. No. We already conquered it. I don't have to keep arguing. I just beat y'all down. Take your shit. Don't put up with nothing. You know what I mean? And take you to court if need be. It's not a problem. Beat you down with the facts. You know what I mean? I you know what? I can't help myself. Let me go over this again. I What I said the first time was that I do believe that the Austin State Hospital is the biggest worry that he has. Uh, once they start interviewing this guy and looking at his YouTube content, I think he's going to be kind of, um, I what's the word, fucked? Yeah, I think maybe. Let's go on. I can say and do whatever I want, homie. Trust me on that, especially now. So, like I said, man, I love it, man, because these people really try to create blockages in my life. They don't want to see me blessed, nothing like, hey, you failed, man failed majorly like catastrophically like it, it's it's been a catastrophe man. it's like Dion Smo's face out here it's a fucking catastrophe it's like Dion Smo's hairline like these people want to act like I'm stupid like I don't know all y'all part of the same community like Raleigh Jones Raleigh shit Jones shit shit bird brains Jones shit for brains that little backwoods fucking hick in Louisiana don't know his head from his ass you know what I mean? Sorry, I'm not even in the chat yet. I'm working with my graphics. This shit is crazy, huh? Bunch of fucking failures want to get online all day, talk shit about people. So what? I don't run this network. This is a public fucking network. There's a, anybody can get on here. Like You type a comment, I don't have to answer to you. Like, I don't care what you have to say. This bitch is literally stalking Christina. This is the shit they do, and they think it's cute. Like, man, that ain't going to do shit. Keep, keep doing what you do, man. We can't stop you. We make fun of you, though. We laugh about it. We think you're hilarious. That bitch again. What's up, Shark Tooth? So, like I said, Shark Tooth, I know you in the building. Listen, listen here, Shark Tooth. Listen very carefully. Shark Tooth. You done fucked up. You done really fucked up. Like, I don't think you comprehend at all how badly you fucked up. And I know you're hurting. Like I said, it's in all the ratings. It's talking about now they I know have trouble trust. streaming what when I'm mean? stoned. 
Boy, do I. That one bitch can't get a reading straight. You know what I mean? Oh, they want you, but I don't want them to want me. What I want them to do is learn how to be a human being. That's it. Like we have to scream at this bitch. Take care of your man. Do you think that I would ever have to scream at Christina and tell her to take care of her man? This this girl will, will do anything for me. Do you all understand the power that we she'll have? do, do everything for Christina you except make your bail at all costs? Do you understand? I'm not alone. Do you understand? Christina will find me no matter where I'm at. Do y'all understand that if I ever went to jail at any date, time, set, place, Christina would find me. That's guaranteed. And come see me and help me and put money on my books and hold her man down. Do you understand that? That's a woman. That is the role model of what you should have tried to be like. Every one of you bitches on this network and in real life are some fucking scum sucking piece of shit, fucking nothing ass whores. You ratchet ass bitches you ain't worth a fuck. All y'all should be emulating my girl Christina. And all y'all are going to do is show her respect and love on this fucking network. I promise you, I run this network. I'm the mover and shaker. When I set policy, people follow me. All these peasants who act like they don't like me, they were on my dick. Half of them sucked my dick. To move further on, they're like lap dogs. They're my lap dogs. Then on top of that, they pay me. I don't donate to these suck ass niggas. I scream on them. They pay me money. All of them. These narcs try to try to find leverage and be manipulative with money. They gotta pay me. That whore had to pay me for sex. That bitch had to pay me for my dick. Every single time. Like clockwork. I'd be at work, right? Yeah, doing my dishes. Annihilating them dishes like fucking scorpion. Like, get over here, dish. <laughs> and fucking, you know, I'm the best dishwasher on the planet. Like, hands down. I will, I will go toe-to-toe with any dishwasher in any county, in any state or city. I'm that good. Straight up. They ought to have a competition to see how fast I do them fucking dishes and get them spotless. Like, I'm a badass at them dishes. And, and all you heard on Dave and Buster's reviews was clean dishes every time. That bitch was even paying attention, stalking that, worried about that. Oh, he's cleaning all the dishes right. They love him there. I'd come in, the fucking bald boss guy would talk about, hey, it's the Messiah. Like, I never had no problem with John. I think John is his man. I never had no problem with John. This wasn't John's fault what happened. That's why I ain't say nothing to John. My problem is with Jerome Bettis. I ain't never going to let go of my problem with Jerome Bettis. Fuck you, me. I told Jerome Bettis to bring his fat black ass and pull up. You feel me? I told him how I'd get down. And did he? Nope. He ran like a bitch. Like the fat sack of shit bitch he is with pink fucking dyed hair and a pink mohawk like he think he's a game and shit. Because last I checked, the rapper of the game got knocked out by some real niggas. You want to talk about something? That's what happened to the rapper, the rapper of the game. He got knocked out by real niggas his whole time coming up a couple of times. He got knocked out with his son with him by Rosemo 700. Then y'all want to talk about Bosco. Bosco's a bitch nigga. Bosco's the dude who fucking um, Rosemo 700 ended up dead afterwards. And y'all act like that's ballsy. Rose, I mean, Bosco didn't do anything. He might have like put a hit on him. That's that's some pussy shit. Why didn't you handle him in, in the street? Because Rosemo whooped Bos- Bosco's ass. I don't know how Bosco even speaks and anyone can act like his words matter. Like that's like saying a coward's opinion matters. It don't. That's why I think y'all fugazi, like your society, like right now you're throwing up the chat, but I ain't even look once. I don't know who could be talking in there. It might be some cool people. It might be some haters. I don't really care. I'm going to tell you something. These readings said shit like, you know, your person is another person's person and your friends aren't your friends. I've never looked at any of you as my friends. Are you kidding me? I've been playing all y'all on here for years. That's number one. I know I know who to trust and who not to. I never got played by that bitch. I never got suckered into nothing. I literally played that bitch correct the entire time. And played my position and did everything correct. And it's crazy that they act like I can't, I couldn't live my life and just get pussy. And if I get pussy, that oh, all of a sudden, oh, well, now there's all these things attached. Now we own you. Since when? When when was I control? What what actions said that you own me? Uh, now this, that. Now uh, uh, now you, you you got a warrant over here. You, I mean, they say I got warrants all over the world now, just magically. I got warrants in Saudi Arabia and shit where I own oil. According to some of these fuckers, I I got I, you got you got warrants over here. You, you got 
you got uh, you're, you're harassing people, but you don't even have time to harass anyone, and you're who's being harassed by the exact people saying you're harassing people. That makes sense. Then you got then then they were saying I paid the fines in front of the fucking old decrepit blind bitch. So you prove you're blind because you sit there and say later with these people you make up a lie and say oh well you didn't go to your court date if you pay the fines there is no court date how many times did we have to repeat ourselves i went over that for about a month straight that wasn't enough for you god damn these people just love talking they love this internet shit like that's fine i mean do what you do obsess over me on that i know you obsessing over me i mean christina knows she's christina's smart bro. christina's like smarter than me you know what i mean let me try to catch up here I love it, man. I literally love it. Yeah, we got them pissed. They are angry. I knew it. See, I already knew that's why I was like, I'm not even in the chat. I'm out of the chat again. I don't care what you have to say. I'm not going to waste my time blocking you either all the time. So, like I said, like, this is the way to do this shit. Like, I got the formula now to really do it. And I'm having fun. And I'm enjoying myself. And I'm just free as a bird having fun. And that's what narcs hate. Like, narcs don't want to see you happy. And y'all saw every time that bitch ever came around me, all she did was try to drag me down, set me up, dox me, try to get me swatted and killed. And you had your dude on camera actively trying to swap me and kill me. He filmed all me. All right. What is everybody and drinking and or smoking video, tonight? If you that video, I'd like you to reach out to me, okay, and email me and tell me I have, have a bottle of Fitz's Shirley Temple. I love this shit. I almost I'm 61 and I'm drinking a kid's drink on purpose. I couldn't. Like, you have to understand, these people threaten my life. Like, they would do it every day if they could. When I was in that basement in Green Bay, they was basically holding a gun to my head every day saying, if you move wrong or you do something wrong, we're going to blow your brains out. I mean, these people have terrorized me. And then y'all act like, like they try to act like they tough. Like, how? I mean, I, I'm the one who was tough about it. Y'all was pussy. I mean, you're trying to terrorize people hiding. Y'all fuck with children. You make children cry. You know, you, you, you've obviously killed people on this network. I mean, you know, you, you probably just, you, I already know you've had people kill themselves. Y'all are guilty of several murders. I know that. And I'm who's exposing you. And yeah, I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to build my case like I've been doing. And I'm going to get you for all the murders you committed because I know y'all try to drive people to suicide on YouTube and everybody knows. So what you going to do about that? I, are you going to tell me I don't have the royal money now? Homie, I'm wearing a fucking suit top right now that cost over five. Absolutely bucks. love it. Looks like a I lot of other people out there are as lit up as know. I am. I have a nice business. bag of My small butt, and I do have some dab. Don't know what it is. All I know I have is the whole it suit. works. You feel me? Like, I dress nice, bro. Like, Ferragamo, shit like that, like... I'm I'm gonna like do you understand? Do you see how quickly I went and built everything? Like this is what I can do. This is what happens when I manifest. This is why bitches like that wanted to hold me back. I got paid today too, by the way. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that I've had today? that fruity pebbles. That that's good. I got paid today. I told y'all I would get paid today. Yeah, I got paid today. <laughs> I'm gonna keep getting paid. A whole lot of money. So, like I said, like, while I put in this work and be a man and provide for who I love, my girlfriend, I mean, y'all just going to keep fucking hating me. I don't owe you no explanation for nothing. You're going to see me keep moving the same way. You're going to see me keep doing my lives. Okay, you're not going to understand anything about how me and Christina move and what we do. And we've got things set up. Just It's totally different, man. That's what y'all don't get. I have my own shit. Number one, that's the first part that y'all don't understand. I have my own shit. I'm goody. You know what I mean? So Christina come and see me when she wants, when she has time. So like I said, man, y'all are never going to understand how I got to this level, man. I talked to the people. They already released one of my songs. I'm working on releasing the other. This is going to all digital retailers. Okay. I know you mad and you wish you could shut that down too. Good luck trying. Um, y'all hit the page. Yeah, I just recently had my first pens. They were by a brand called Simple. 
92 percent I mean, frost. I mean, they got oh other my goodness! That I can do that so on. convenient. You do know that, right? So good. <laughs> You stupid. You do understand that I already have one set up. I'm just waiting to figure out like how to like get the payment shit set up with it, and I'll never tell you it, so you'll you won't be able to shut it down. And welcome to Weed and Don't Sneed you. on negative forty three. I am so, Rich Barrett. There's ways around all your bullshit. You know what I mean? I, I don't need something like Patreon. I don't need any of these websites. Fuck Spreaker, fuck Patreon, fuck a, fuck a Planet Fitness, fuck, fuck all these companies that, that allow narcissists to sit there and try to hate me out of them. Like, how that work? What part of the game is that? That don't even make no fucking sense. Literally. Like, at all. Feel me? I always go back to the bud. That is, that is where my roots are. Oh. You know, you can't participate in this because, well, we hate you. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of hate in the world. There's enough hate to go around for everybody. I mean, you know, you, you might hate me, but what does it matter? And we may you know, be I mean, doing weed and sneed for a while here. Too. Just because he's in jail doesn't mean <laughs> that there aren't tens of thousands because of hours of research. I'm amazing. I'm a goddamn jewel. And I'm desperate for contact, let alone so human got contact. Angry as all hell. Angry. Hey, what I've been through is hell. I have a message to spit to the public into the world and I'm here to help people and that's all I'm here to do. If you don't like me, you don't like righteousness. You don't like good. Who wants to be evil? Let me let me isolate you bitches on here for a minute. Are you really proud of being evil? No. Does anyone fuck with you or think you cool on this network or off? No. Are y'all a real community? No, you're just a community of hate. You're in relationships of hate. What's the point? You're not happy. I don't care about what you say or do or feel. Be miserable. Looks like it got to do with me. That's all we wonder. What does it have to do with Christina? Nothing. It's just people who mad at their lives. And, and that's what they did on YouTube. They started turning this into, I mean, this was over a decade ago. They started turning this into a life competition about whose life is better than whose. I mean, if you have to do that, your life's probably not very nice. I never, ever had a life competition. I would just like, have fun on here. I don't know how long you're going to be without fresh sneed content, but I do totally believe in the old saw that it's not over till it's over. And we'll know when that is. Produces for me. I'm a master manifester. You all are just master debaters. Clearly not master debaters because none of you will debate me. I mean, come on, y'all are all ducking me on my panel every day. Then y'all go to your channels and act like I watch your shit. I don't look at none of y'all shit. When I pop up like one time, like with these lames, like clowns I laugh at, like Dion Poopy Head Snow, when I pop up, it's just to laugh at you, bro, because you literally sound crazy. <laughs> I'm glad that you're laughing. I know that you're not. That's the funny part. But I hope that my words do make you laugh. I hope that. You feel me? I, I love how when you get buttered, you got to desperately laugh to try to make yourself feel comfortable with the reality you're not comfortable with and can't embrace. Because <laughs> I'm laughing at you. I believe it like, is time to, in, in fact, roll one, one up. And here's Imagine a little bit of information for you. I'm wearing a very large red chain around my funny. neck tonight. Yes, I am. It's like is that a supposed Marty to hurt me? Is that supposed to do something it's in my plastic, mind? plastic, but he don't you're have no shit me? like this. It doesn't. I am totally... How do you mirror. trigger somebody who's not a narcissist? Last I checked, I've been doing research on narcissism for over 20 years. It's not possible. You could piss someone off. You could threaten people like y'all do and get them upset, you know, or reacting, fight or flight. We don't do no flight over here. Why do you type in series like what you're doing right now if I'm not in the chat? Like I told you, you could continue to type. I'm not going to care. I don't care what you type. I, I can't keep up link. with the comments, What's and it's a wonderful thing. A keep going. Y'all can't have a conversation because you're not welcome here, because you're not real, and you don't bring anything real to the table. So that's all they do is just be a test. Be a test. 
That's what you were born to do. Oh, you can just listen, Luca. Just the idea of somebody listening to this in a car or a truck. You invest in digital real estate, which means physical real estate by digital means. Let me answer that for you since you're silenced and can't talk here because you forfeited your ability to speak, right? Through hate and through being a smart ass and acting like you have an answer for everything, which means you have an answer for nothing. Let me answer that for you. Never. I've been investing in physical real estate through digital means. I get, I get more real estate. Yes, it is actually hard to talk over him. I'll figure this out as we go along. Back to our show. Like all the time, constantly, bro. I, I pump more money into fucking my real accounts all the time, bro. Everything is on point. I've got. Say hello to Kimber. Everything I need, like all the resources. I got my cards lined up. I got everything. I'm not on no credit like nut truck. I ain't on no PPP loans. I make cold, hard fucking cash. And it ain't no problem for me to get paid. You know what I'm saying? Like the people I work with now are amazing. I didn't know that Michigan was this fucking cool, but it is. I didn't know. I didn't know there was opportunity here. I thought everybody nice was try. kind of weird because of something in the water. <laughs> but like I said, people people going to be mad, man. They, they're not ready for this Texas shit. they not. My lineage is Cowboys, man. Texas Cowboys. We built that whole fucking state. We built the nation. People not ready for that Texas gangster shit, man. They're not. Everybody know it. You feel me? Like, I love it, bro. So, like I said, like, it's so easy to handle y'all on here. It's so easy to, like, just have a good time on here and have fun. Hey, let me ask you something. Why do y'all repeat yourself, and why do you keep saying names of people that I don't fuck with? Do you have an answer for that? Why do you say people's names as if they anybody, like, you? are you trying to blow their ego up into something they're not? What did they ever accomplish? What did they do to me? Nothing. You talking about people who wanted to be the puppet master of my life and failed and everything they did backfired and blessed me and put me and propelled me ahead to where I'm at? Thanks. I love when you repeat that name because all it does is bring me good luck like the name means. I'm not mad. It doesn't strike no fear in my heart. It doesn't do anything to me, so I don't get it. I mean, like I said, if you want to repeat names, where are they at? How come they can't face me in real life and square up and throw hands? Can they do that? Okay. They can't, right? Okay, then what, what could you say to me? Like, I'm ready to face you anytime, but you're hiding. All of you are hiding behind a computer. Let's be realistic. I'm not. I'm willing to fight anyone. I have my own boxing league. I'm the CEO of that. I'm the CEO of the fucking Ice Monkey clothing line, luxury clothing line, uh, 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 mind you. That's coming right around the corner, too. I'm about to build that whole shit. Literally. I got another business on top of that that I'm running. Making fucking 30 to 50 bucks an hour. Okay. All right, everybody. The legend that is Dr. Computer Shop joins us this evening. Unlimited clients, unlimited clientele. Like, I'll, I'll never have to go to college. I'll never have to try to be like a doctor or, or go to your orthodox bullshit politics because I'm already going to, I'm already rich. I'm set for life. I've already, like, what y'all don't understand is like I already had a whole full career and I was I was amazing. And what happened was the same shit. It's the same shit every single time. Like I've built several careers and every time it's the same thing. Narcs want to hate. Okay. I just dump y'all in the dust and keep it shaking and keep it moving. And then I move on to a better opportunity. Feel me? My, my manifesting power is out this world right now, man. My intuition is heightened right now. Like, I'm on a whole different plane right now. I'm evolving. Like I said, what can you tell me, man? I'm a real man. Y'all y'all haven't faded me. Y'all are. If he wants to drink piss, I imagine that they can arrange that for him. You're fading yourself. Y'all on self rose. Let me ask you something. Cashless Bang got real releases going to digital stores. When's the last time BSM did that and could actually sell a unit? Because my music's going to sell because I'm going to be promoting at a street level all over this country. People love my music. Do you know I got fans right now that like going crazy over my shit? Like literally like, bro, this motherfucker's music is out this world. They showing everyone my music. Can you all do that? 
I didn't even say nothing. They just found my music and started losing their mind. I got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Negasonic Middle Age Dickhead. Say hi, everyone. People who, who really think my shit is heat. Everybody. I've never seen somebody tell. I freestyle in front of motherfuckers. I've never had somebody tell me I can't spit. Ever. I think that happened like one time, and them fools was so delusional and hating, and I put them in their place, and I was by myself dolo. There was like three of them, and they was just fucked up, and, and, and that shit was weird, man. That was like 15, 20 years ago, and the shit I was spitting was crazy, and I was actually, like I said, had singles out, was actually building a movement. Like, I'm not like Tone Gape. I'm not Tone Space. I'm not Tone Dick. Like, you feel me? Like I'm not existing the way he do. I'm not in his paradigm. Like I, I don't, I don't have to just be a loser with nothing. You understand? Like I'm not stuck. I'm not fucked up. I'm not wearing fake shit. I'm not wearing fucking weird ass. Looks like it's rusted headphones. I'm around my neck. They're turning my neck green. Like I got real jewelry. Like I have everything y'all don't have. So like I said, like we could talk about it. We could definitely talk about it, baby. We can talk about it today. Do y'all want to have a discussion? Because BSM went down the fucking tubes, and, and I'm going to go ahead, and, and I, I would take credit for it, but I don't even need to because BSM was never going to have a future. You feel me? Everyone knows it. Hey, does that make you feel better to come over here and just say, like, some pre k shit? I really would love to know if that makes you feel good. Does it make you feel like a man when you do that? Huh? Because I think it's crazy, personally. I really do. I think it's that shit crazy. So, like I said, I mean, that's the kind of shit that they do, man. They're always going to be on some weird fuck shit, not making no sense. You know what I mean? Hating, talking they stupid shit. You know what I mean? And the thing they don't understand is, like, we don't play that shit at all. Like, you ever come around me talking like that? Yes, uh, shop. We are potentially waiting on the mommy files. Yes, that's right. The under the bed recordings that she talked about. We are potentially waiting on this, Doctor Computer Shop and I. So, Sneedville content is a long way from done. A long way. Uh, it's it's a five second countdown for anyone. Like I said, we got people trying to push delusion on me and tell me my actions, my words, tell me that reality is different than what it is. This shit don't work with me, bro. You know what I mean? I'm going to say this one more time. I own a mansion. I pay fucking taxes. Okay? I've told this to people's faces. Literally. Like... I get it, all these people. That's why I don't understand. Like, I scream on dudes. They don't do shit about it. Dudes that think they tough. Dudes that talk and all this tough for all our shit. I scream on them. They don't do a fucking thing about it. Everybody knows that I'm the celebrity and boss. Everybody knows that I'm with the bitches now. Everybody knows that I'm who everybody watching and obsessing over and stalking and caring about my dick and where it goes and what I'm doing. Every one of y'all is basically licking the fucking nutsack hairs on my balls. And I, I'm here to tell you I don't need you to do that because I never have a women problem or a girl problem. And I have my girl, and those balls and that dick belong to her. And she going to come tell you. And it's crazy because, like I said, y'all talking about a bitch every day that literally said the same shit. So, I mean, how did these lames feel, these simp yes men, how did they feel about the fact that she came on this show, and a lot of those shows are out public still, and just was all over my nuts. Had my nuts in her mouth, gargling them all day, and admitting it to all of you, admitting he's got the biggest dick, the best sex. None of that was too gazy. That was the truth. Seriously. There's never been a doubt. Like, that's my thing. Y'all say that there's doubt, but you can't plant seeds of doubt if you don't do the competition. It's just like when she said that fuck shit. I said, hey, drop the picture. I'll drop mine right now. She ran. Right, because you're just talking out your ass. If you're talking, you're lying. The thing is, when you came over here, you have to actually say some truth. And you would come over here and say the truth. And I think that part of you enjoyed doing it. So why did you switch up? 
Why do you always do that to, to what? To fit in? Why, why don't you get better friends, better people, people with a future, people who, I don't know, might be making something in themselves, getting a career, wanting to build something. That's what you need. What you need to do is understand that you can't treat a human being like that and that you owe somebody everything, that you owe them apology and way more, that you should go out your way despite whatever that person is doing. No matter who I'm with, as a human being to human being, you broke divine law. Do you understand how fucking cursed you are? Do you understand my spirits are on your ass about to rip you to shreds? It has nothing to do with me. You did that to yourself. These spirits protect me at all costs. You fuck with a chosen one. Do you understand what happens to people who fuck with a chosen one? You, you, you try to twist everyone's words. You're marked by spirit. You're, You're marked, marked by, by divine, divine law and, and the divine. divine. You know, there's a lot of money in that, that whole detective thing. Divine has you marked for the rest of your existence. Even after you go to hell and perish and die, my spirits are going to be ripping you to pieces from every limb. Do you understand that? Because of what you did, because there's repercussions in this world for what you do. I don't understand what game you think you're playing because it doesn't exist. It's just somebody being dumb and thinking that they got or something like you are not God. You are delusional. Come on, bro. I could do the same shit you do, man. You know why I don't do it? Because would it make me successful? Would I be in this position if I was saying, hey, you know, I, I love. Chris, let's, I, I love Christina, but I'm going to go fuck around behind her back and I'm going to go fuck fat bitches who are ugly and then and then hide from Christina. Imagine me doing this to her, what, what you did to me. And then I'm going to hide from Christina and not be a man when I'm a grown ass fucking man. I'm going to be a complete faggot ass bitch and a pussy. And I'm just going to fuck with her every day. Hey, I'm cheating on you. Hey, I'm with this bitch. Uh, I'm with this bitch. Oh, this must make me cool. I'm with this bitch. Well, uh, you know, when Christina asked me, well, how much money are you making? Nothing, but I'm going to lie to you. I'm on Social Security on Section 8, and I'm spiteful as fuck of you. I'm envious, and I hate you because you're better than me. I mean, imagine me doing that to Christina. Thank you for stopping in, Luca. Everybody say goodbye. That's what y'all are bragging about. What I'm trying to explain to y'all is that y'all keep coming on here and you keep huffing and puffing like a big bad. What you are is the bitch who cried wolf. Let me explain something to you. You are the weakest individual I have ever met in my life and you are ashamed. And every day you have your head down in shame. Every day you're crying. The emotional effects are coming out in front of that piece of shit faggot that you pretend right with because you don't have anything. You lost your place or you're already losing it. He, the bitch is literally about to tell this sucker to his face if she hasn't already, I want to be with him. He's who I have feelings with. He's who I love. Because the truth's going to come out because that's the truth. Just understand that I don't care. I don't care how you feel just like you never cared how I feel. An eye for an eye, that's how it works. Whatever you did, you'll get back like I told you. Just like I played you, I cheated on you. I don't play these kind of games. If people going to come at me, I'm going to come back. So why is it that I can be ballsy and be on these panels and do my show? And I show up to y'all shit even, the fags you roll with, but you never there. How come you can't say anything? How come you can't back up your shit? I would love for you to come face me, you pussy-ass cunt, and tell me why you do things that make no sense and are completely detrimental and stop talking and acting like you bragging when this hurts you, this harms your life. Narcissists will suffer in order to try to make you suffer. That's cool. You made me suffer. I give you that. Congratulations. Do you want a cookie? I could do that to anyone. I don't like hurting people. I mean, that's not the game. You have the game backwards in life. The real people are trying to build something, something you can't do. You don't know how to build. So is it really cool? Or are we learning a lesson here, people, like she did? Are we learning that these people are fucking stupid? They're wasting their lives empty. I mean, you walk around like you don't even belong in your body. I'm going to tell you something else, man, that this is the real thing I want to bring to this network so I can tell you all what's really going on here. Because I'm going to be real with you. I know what it is. This is what I believe truly in my heart, and I don't care how crazy I sound. This is what I truly believe is happening. I had a reading the other day I was listening to. This is going to blow y'all's mind. These messages keep coming to me. I had seen a movie about maybe a year ago, I think. I think it was in Green Bay. And I watched this movie in the hotel room. And I think she was there. And I watched it. I stayed up and watched it. 
and it was a great movie. It was about the draconians. It was about a draconian and the man, the human being, um, befriended the, the draconian. Okay, if you haven't heard this, it's about to get really, really weird. Draconian. Um, the Draconians come from a different order, a different star order. They come from a part in space that we don't really know about. Um, the Draconians are real. And I bet they're triggered as fuck losing their shit right now because I've figured it out. Y'all are actual Draconians. These are the fuck. These are not humans we're dealing with. That that Jenny Feratu bitch, and the reason why we call her Jenny Jenny Feratu is because that was the first monster in the horror movies, is what Christina told me. It was not Feratu. Y'all can look it up, but it's Jenny Feratu. I call her Shark Tooth because of her short teeth. But the point is, she always walked, and I always thought it was weird. Do y'all remember when I said that, that it felt like snakeskin pussy? That was not made up. That was not for YouTube. I really felt snakeskin, and I thought it was odd, and I didn't understand why. And I'm starting to realize these people aren't humans. They're humanoids. Like, I'm re like I need y'all to really hear what I'm saying. I'm trying to deliver a message to the world. I hope people hear me. We have these things walking amongst us, bro, fucking with us. And that's why they keep doing that. See, Dracon it was in the reading. Draconians operate only at a low vibrational energy. They try to bring you down to their level, to their energy. It's just like narcissism. Narcissists have reptilian brains. That's why they, they sit there and they, they talk about sex, but they don't enjoy sex. What does a lizard do? A lizard does sex for sport. They do sex with no feeling. If you ever look at two lizards fucking, they have no emotion. They're just eh, eh, hum, 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 literally with nothing. They don't care. It's just, I'm supposed to do this. That's them. This is why they're so mad and angry at me because they can't have sex and enjoy. Like when I have sex, I truly enjoy it. It's the fucking the most amazing thing in, the, in existence. Today. You know what I mean? Christine is the most amazing thing in existence. Sex with Christina is the most amazing thing that ever existed. That's just how Tyree speaks. Yeah, if he goes through a mental evaluation, we may not have to deal with him again for years and years and years. And I know I said it earlier, but what we're watching right now, the Sub-Zero Tyree channel itself, is evidence against him and the psychiatrist and the psychologist that will be interviewing him are going to look at this stuff and when they do oh man i hope you like straight jackets well continuing on i don't think you understand what i'm what i'm trying to tell people Everything that I went through was not for no reason. Everything that I went through, I'm here to deliver a message to the world that we have these things walking amongst us. I'm not being... Ladies and gentlemen, the legend that is that guy is Shamrock nearby. Funny. I don't think that they're human beings. When she would come around and walk, she was weird. It's like she didn't fit in her body. I think her body is a suit. And if you think this is a joke or some YouTube shit, I swear on my life, I'm not kidding. I think her body is a fucking suit. And it said draconians have horns and they have wings. That's a demon. They're from a different star order. They're from a certain realm in space. They're here. And I don't care what you say. I've seen these people eat shit off the ground. Y'all all know who I'm talking about. These people, I've seen them with heroin bruises all over their arm. Humans don't do that. I don't know what human is going to keep poking their motherfucking arm. I, I really don't. I And doesn't know how to put a needle in and would even risk that when you could die. I, that's crazy. A lot of this shit, it wasn't making sense. It's starting to really make sense. Like, I'm being honest with you. When Whenever she came around... Even in the bedroom, it was weird, man. Like, it was like she didn't fit in her skin. I don't know how else to say it. So, like I said, there's something off. There's something very fucking weird about the whole thing. Hold up.
And Shamrock is here now. Yes, sir, Bob. The old crew is here. Might as well read some comments, DZ says. And you can see it on the screen. He's out of his goddamned mind. And we have some hellos going on here. And Frost asked an interesting question. She didn't fit in her skin. Yeah, that, that is what he said, and it didn't make any more sense to me than it did to you. So let me see here. Okay. Tell you what the best thing I could do right now is to probably move forward and try to find more content. Hang in there. Be right back. Why did you stay so long? When did I stay? All I did was well, that was easy. See, y'all don't y'all got your story wrong, man. The whole time y'all was sitting there talking shit about somebody cheating, I was fucking the bitch. That's what's crazy. I, when were y'all right? Y'all literally would email me every time, and be like, "She'll never come back." Boom, bitch came back for the dick. all written all over me and, and everything man you know what i mean it, it's it's nothing but a fucking confidence and ego boost for me problem is y'all really trying to act like i give a fuck about this dyke ugly bitch i don't y'all really trying to act like like i care i don't i tried i have a heart you know what i mean I did really care at one point. I really did have true love at one point. It was taken for granted. It meant nothing. So to think that you would ever get that again, fuck me. And like I said, it's really just out of like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not even going to say that. It's just, it is what it is, man. I just think it's crazy that, that people want to be like this every day. You know what I mean? But like I said, we're not here to even talk about that shit. We're here to talk about the future and what we're building, which is a whole lot. Christina and I are actually truly happy. We ain't even got to say to talk about it. And I don't know. Every day is beautiful with her, man. I'm just being real. It's just so much different, man. Like I said, I've never had somebody I could be proud of. I've never had a girl who was there for me. This girl will fucking fight an army for me. And people think that I'm alone. That's the crazy part. People think that I'm alone in this world and I don't have anyone. I have Christina backing me no matter what. Like I said, she'll always find me. She's always going to be there for me. She's always going to help me. She's never going to give up on me. And remember, there is a rumor out there that Christina is actually a kiwi farmer from Germany. Like, there's no way... You know, shit is hard for me, but th there's no way that, just, I don't know how to explain it to you. There's, there's no way you'd ever break our bond. You know what I mean? Ever. And what I, what I mean is like this walk, it's been really hard, but hey, at least I walked the walk. At least like, like Coach Eli's gay faggot title that he don't represent or embody because he's a hypocrite and full of shit and jealous too. It makes no sense and it's just stupid like all of them. The only reason why I, I talk about y'all or mention your names is because you're the clowns on YouTube that I'm using as an example and make fun of you. Say hello to Sonya, everybody. Real shit. But yeah, the show title, I didn't watch the bullshit. I just saw the title about you got to walk the walk you can't just talk the talk some of your concepts are good concepts it's just so narcissistic and weird because you've been doing the same program the same way for so many years i'm starting to think if you're going to end up like killing yourself because normal humans can't go with the same thing every day you know normal humans don't repeat cycles that's what's wrong with that old bitch with shark tooth repeating cycles how does this feel? How, how does you want attention? That is no kidding, Lunzi. The Sneeds remain a very powerful family in Texas. And he ha if he had any common sense at all, he would be set for life. He's nuts, so he's not. So bad, right? You want attention from me. How does this attention feel? Does it feel nice? 
You know what I mean? Because I have a feeling you're not very happy about it. You know what I mean? And like I said, I mean, it's nothing but shame over there, arguing. Hey, like I said, why are you there? You know what I mean? You were instructed and told what to do to go the right direction. You were told, be alone, get away from everyone. What the problem is now, it's a totally different ball game, and no one gives a fuck what you do. You know what I mean? To be honest. I mean, you forfeited a good thing. That's what's so weird. I, I just want to know how someone does that. And they all have hard-ons. Imagine that. And then goes on the internet and acts like, oh, it's all good. I don't care. But meanwhile, every reading saying they're acting crazy, but yet their emotions are totally the opposite. They're heartbroken. Come on, bitch. You know you're listening right now. Like I said, when are you going to be real with yourself? Fuck everybody else, but when are you going to be real with yourself? Because, again, it ain't about me or how I feel or what I would do or if I care because I don't. It's about doing the right thing. It's about, about you and yourself. And that Geriatrics rule. was all that I ever cared about, and that's just the truth. Like I said, when are you going to do the right thing for you? Because that was the right advice. Everything I said, like I said, I was the only one down the ride for you. You know what I mean? You did what any any girl does when somebody gets too close to them, when you've been through what you've been through. And it's no excuse because you're possessed and you never stop. I mean, I, I, I knew that I could never get around you again. I knew that. Because if I ever got around you, you would try to hurt me. You might try to kill me. I'm lucky to be alive. I dodged a bullet. That's the truth. And that's the thing. You never just quit your shit. You're told over and over again, please stop. You have no mercy. I don't. That has nothing to do with a relationship. It has nothing to do with fucking or dating. So, I mean, yeah, make make other people who ain't shit and have nothing going for make their life a living hell while you sit there and lie. That is a very good question. Everybody, what do you think Tyree's doing right this minute? I imagine it has something to do with being made to take a shower. I for them and say, well, they got this and that. No, they don't. You can't be with anybody who's got nothing because then you'll feel inferior. Narc. Remember? No, they're mooching off the government without any anything mooching too. They don't own anything. They don't make any money. You understand? It's all that bullshit that they say. They don't know narcissism like I do. I've seen it. I've lived it. That's the only way you learn. These book writers, they don't know what they're talking about. They think the grass is greener on the other side. Really? Do they? Because that's the hard one, man. I don't understand how you can go, you know, a billionaire, I'm broke bitch. Uh, limp dick, huge cop. Uh, most handsome man in existence, an ugly piece of dog shit. A fat old fuck. Someone from my harem garage. I'm going to select. And then the crazy part is they still got to juggle two sources, so she's cheating on you, brother. Newsflash. Want to know something crazier? You got feelings for a sack of shit? How? Even Christina was like, I can't believe anyone couldn't love you. You're most as lovable as it can. I know. There's something wrong with that bitch. You don't have any feelings at all for anyone. And you don't care about yourself. They need to quit saying that. Narcs are just reckless. They don't give a fuck about themselves. Look at their behavior. Somebody who cares about themselves jabs heroin needles in their arm. Yeah, okay. Somebody who's selfish has nothing. They have narcissism all along. I'm the one who can teach it because I know the truth. All these professors are wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. Feel me? Okay, there he I mean, is. Like I said, bro, I don't do weird names over here, homie. We try that. Like I said, selfish as opposed to stupid. Dog shit as opposed to gold. I've never seen someone choose to lose. I've never seen someone say, here's the Golden Willy Wonka ticket. Oh, I don't want to go. I'd rather sit here and be uneventful and drink my life away in regret. Do you understand that what you're doing is detrimental to you? You know what I mean? 
I, like I said, with everything you've done, as much as, as whatever as I should hate your guts and be mad and whatever, I'm not. You might be all those things for no reason because I'm who helped you and loved you and took care of you and was nothing but nice to you. I'd rather kill him with kindness. And I'd rather be myself and have a heart still. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I want you to do the right thing for you. I want you to wake up still. You understand? I, I pray for my enemies, man. Because you're lost, bro. For you, do it for you. That's all you care about, right? Cool. Do it for you then. But I'm going to tell you something. If you don't make a change, man, and you don't stand up and realize that it's not about me for once, it ain't about living. This no, it's not a problem. I'm actually finding that it's better that I pause him before I say anything. It's a, no problem. Despite me, fuck me, I don't matter. You know what I mean? Like every every action is oh, despite you, she would laugh about it in my face and literally sit there typing on the I I or, or literally while I'm fucking her talking about uh I, I I hate you so much I love you like I ain't got time for your weirdo shit man you know sitting there talking about just stupid shit man like I said man that shit is whack and dumb my point is with you if you don't stand up. And you don't say how you really feel inside, and you don't quit lying to yourself, you're going to repeat this cycle, man, for the rest of your existence. Your entire line, your dash of your life is going to be meaningless, man. And that's all you're doing is failing. These people on here don't care about you. Your flying monkeys don't care about you. They're not helping you. They're keeping you sick. And these are all facts you can't deny. And that's why I don't understand it, and I never could, because there's no way to no, what he means there, when he, when he says he loves Christina, that's one thing. When he says he hates that bitch in this context, he's talking about Jenny. I'm telling you what you need to do. You need to stop waiting. You need to stop hesitating. You need to stand up and tell people how the fuck you feel. And quit worrying about what you can get or what situation that man is in, meaning me. You know what I mean? Because nothing's going to change with me. It's the fact that you're supposed to do the right thing. And then, you know what I mean? Why don't you have a talk with Christina and apologize? And then go from there. It's about doing the right thing. But like I said, giving you real advice to help you when I'm the last person who should after how fucked up you've been and how abusive and disgusting. I mean, all you did was sit there and say, I'm going to go fuck losers and you can't do anything about it. And I'm going to try to antagonize you as hard as I can so you can snap, do something, and end up in prison. And that's my goal every day. Did I ever do anything? No. Y'all made up stories that never happened. I never did any of the shit y'all ever said. I never did anything. Ever. I don't put hands on women. But again, that's not a woman. That's a bitch. But I never put hands on her. And y'all said that I was going to beforehand. Y'all for. How well is that going to play? I don't imagine that's going to play very well at all. I would love to be the uh, fly on the wall, as they say, during his interviews. It, it's just got to be clinically insane. Addicted and said he's going to, like, that would make me do something, and I didn't. I have the ultimate patience. I'm going to tell you again. You need to stand up to the people who are oppressing and doing it to you. You need to actually, like, open your mouth and, and just stand up for yourself. Because if you don't, you're in for a long, rude awakening. And that's just the truth. Your life's going to suck. It's it's never going to it's never gonna get any better for you, man. But like I said, I mean, you know, I, I don't care, man, that you... I mean, the thing is, she's extremely materialistic, but she won't lie to your face and say, I don't care about money. That's fine. But what, what, you know what strikes me so odd about that? I own a mansion. Why didn't you just come to the mansion if that was what you needed? You could have just lived luxurious. I own my mansion right now. I just, the offer's not there. But the point is, my mansion is a whole million times better than where the fuck you at right now, fucking sitting here mooching. 
you do realize that, right? You do realize that you're sitting there worried about children that don't give a fuck about you. You don't give a fuck about them. You ate your own. You gave up your own children. And you're just sitting there doing whatever people tell you. And, and like I said, it's in the reading. She's realizing all these people are just holding me back. Yeah, your family hates you. All them people hate you. And you love the people who hate you. Like that bitch-ass fucking demented, weird-looking cousin. Y'all whole family look like coneheads, first of all, bitch. You're not attractive. Y'all look like aliens, all of you. You know what I mean? So like I said, you know what I mean? Was 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 I with the alien at one point? Not really. I mean, I tried. That's the most I could say. But that's a fucking alien, bro. That's, that's a family of aliens, man. They, they weird as shit. And y'all are not intelligent. Like, that's one of the dumbest pictures I've ever seen. I'm just being real with you, man. Everyone saw it. Everyone. You know what I mean? Hey, like I said, man, whoever wants to come on the panel, let's quit pretending we're other people and click the link. So, like I said, they so mad and so worried and so powerless. Hey, what's up, Ace? How you doing, buddy? So, like I said, I have a mansion. Do you really think that I give a fuck about a narc bitch like that? I could have that narc bitch like that. I just don't want her. But like I said, the whole thing don't make any sense. If that's what you wanted, you could have just said so. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you why that won't work for y'all. <sighs> Let me explain this to you. The reason that won't work, and this was in the reading, is because she and these people hate me so much because I shine and I'm who they want to be. They don't. Their hate to them is love. They hate me so much because they watch me make and spend more money than the entire government for years. They've seen me do things that no human being's ever done. They've seen me conquer every obstacle, and they hate me. That's why if you ask that bitch, that fat shamcock, ask what shamwow can do for you that won't get off my dick and is an obsessed and she wants to fuck me, and everybody knows, and even her own husband. And her and the husband hate – like you ask the bitch. Well, how do you feel about Tyrese? I hate him. I mean, there's there's fucking fury. I mean, I hate him. Well, why do you hate him? And then she just tries to say a bunch of shit that makes no coherent sense. Do you think anyone bought that Shamcock? Name one person in the world who's not in your gang of maybe, what, 10 people, who's not delusional and mentally ill, who has NPD, and the whole world knows because I exposed you this entire time. Name one individual who agrees with you, with anything you've ever said. Why can't you... Actually, I don't have any reason speaking to you, but why don't you make sense? Because that's who it all coming from, and this other bitch is bowing down to whatever a different narc, I guess acting like she's a higher narc, which I don't see how. And they're trying to bring the illusion. That's why she kept saying, well, you know, yeah, she, she's got money or she inherited this. No, and I shot it down every time. It doesn't aggravate me if somebody has money. It aggravates me because you're fucking lying. Because that bitch can't afford a hot dog, and I know that for a fact. And that's my only issue, is I just want people to stop false claiming and say the truth. You feel me? That's literally it. That's my only thing. You know what I mean? Hold up. I just love it when he goes quiet, so I am currently catching up to some comments and stanley is here say hello if you haven't okay catch right up with these things i can't keep up with them and that's fantastic it's exactly what i want here so let me get caught up here and in just a second i will fast forward and we'll try to get past the boring stuff in order to get to the crazy stuff. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. This is going on far too long for my days. And here I am just creeping along, trying to find something that resembles content. Again, all you know who I'm talking uh, about. Okay, here we go. A lot of groups online that have to do with Kinnick and Jenkins, that case, because this is a worldwide conspiracy, what's going on. 
she knows something about it she's connected to that murder she's connected to all these murders that she wants to pretend she's researching something's not right and i think these people are living and eating off of that system because they simply will not do for themselves when they can you're fully capable of getting a job you're playing social security you're working and not making any money on top of social security and i don't know what it is you're trying to do why do you have to try to paint things like something they're not like as if like You have no money, you're broke. But you didn't listen to me. So that's my whole point. Like, why do you have to do that? Why do you have to lie and try to twist reality? That's some crazy shit. Because you can prove reality. Just like I said, like, anybody who ever wants to talk about dicks, I mean, I'll put up my shit straight up immediately. I'll put out my picture and you can put yours up of whoever. And I promise you, I'm going to put them to shame. It don't matter who it is. Ashley's tried that same thing. Like I told you, the picture that you sent me, my shit was bigger than. Apparently, you you all are blind and you can't see what hardness is, thickness. Like, it's a weird discussion. It's the point of why I have it is to display and show people that these people. He said that's a weird discussion. Well, yeah, what you're saying, it's, it's beyond weird. It's way past weird. I've noticed that most guys who are obsessed with that kind of stuff are generally covering something up, and I suspect that may be the case here. People are willing to say a lie and then pretend it's the truth. Do you understand that there's a difference between flaccid and hard as a... Good night, Joe Peck. Thanks for stopping in. I've noticed the higher I get, the more AM DJ I become. Rock. I got I'll be talking like this before we're done. I have no flaccidity at like my shit is hard as a rock. It's just crazy. It's a weird conversation, and it's a conversation that should have never been had because it didn't exist. And if you hang out with these people, that's what they'll do. They'll have a bunch of conversations to gain supply. Of things that oh, here I go again interrupting things. It is true, Lunzi has the only 5150 KUNT t shirt in existence. About three weeks ago, I had a storefront at T Public for about 18 hours until they decided that KUNT was an obscenity that they simply couldn't get behind. I reminded them that. K-U-N-T, Kunt, is actually a Turkish surname, but they didn't buy it. So he does have something extremely rare. He told me that when he showed it to his wife, she threw the remote control at him. I'm so proud. Anyway, let's get back to why we're here. That don't exist, and that's all she do is sit around and talk to these people like that bum right who's all worried about me every day this isn't all the readings i can post them for y'all if y'all like in the community tab don't make me because i will it'll tell you right there he's worried every day massive anxiety okay she's she's completely going to kick the door on this dude and say i'm out it's actually showing a plane and a car and a boat because what it's saying is that she's just going to travel and try to find me i guess you know what i mean which good luck but I am actually thinking about doing another merch site, but I'm going to operate under the assumption that KUNT just isn't going to make the mark with any of them, so I'm going to try to turn their censorship into a massive joke. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. I mean, that's what she is going to end up doing. That's what she's inclined to do. She's going to go out in the country and try to find me. And I'm just being honest. I'm predicting the future for y'all. I guarantee you, just like y'all saw her at Chicago O'Hare Airport, she came. You should make a store frost. I would go, certainly buy it. Oh, good, he's back. People. That's the craziest part. That's the shit that, I mean, once you do that, it's, it's a wrap. You'll never talk to that man again. And that's common sense.
you know what I mean? And the fact that you were probably doing it the whole time and it wasn't the whole time. It was very sparse and rare because all your time came to me and was devoted to me. You, they got the shit end of the stick. We would laugh about it. I'm like, well, whoever the other dude is, he's getting the shit end of the stick. Because all your time went to me. All the sex went to me. Everything went to me. So that's my thing. Like, I didn't get fucked over the way y'all want to change. You wanted to come to the internet and portray and pretend. I got the best for everybody. And I didn't, you know, digress. I, I, I increased everything. I'm going on a third path. Of things. I got a much better girlfriend now. I didn't level down or downgrade like you. I upgraded. And that's what I do. I win. I just was never trying to win anything, especially with her. I never tried to win anything. I literally would let her win. So it's just crazy that, you know, I'm a good person, man. I have a big heart. And uh, like I said, I still think that it's sad that somebody would just go out their way to try to hurt and destroy someone. But like I told you, my full sights are on Christina. Everything is, is amazing with us. And it's just it's making my life so much more beautiful, if you want me to be honest, because I've never felt any. Say hello to Marishi Tan, everybody. Good Lord in heaven. I certainly hope I pronounce that correctly. Thing like what I feel now. And the best part, man, is that when I say things like this, I really mean them. I'm not on here trying to demean anyone the way they do. And, and that bitch does. I'm not trying to make fun of people. That just comes naturally. Y'all are funny. I, I'm not trying to make anyone feel any kind of way, but I know that it will. Because the truth hurts, and that's what these people have an issue with, is this basic truth. You know? So, I don't know. Let them have an issue with basic truth. It's not going to stop the truth. I'll tell you, I mean, you know, I have a lot of people that want to act like they can make moves on me off of no ground. I mean, good luck trying. Y'all can try, you know, I, I think it's funny. I think the only possible thing that I could think of would be, does he have any other warrants out there? Does he have anything like in Georgia or Florida that perhaps they need to be made aware of? Past that, I, I don't know what else anybody can do to him. He's, uh, his life, it, it's been ruined. His life's been ruined for years. It is most certainly ruined at this point in time. I'll stop talking. I think it's funny because you don't understand that if what you're bringing is not actual reality, that shit's going to always get proven and it's always going to get exposed. And that's at any level. That's at a court level, a state level, a national level, a worldwide level on this platform. I don't have to win in court against anybody. I can just win with my spirits and my spirits are bringing this. I can win YouTube. The courtroom's right here. We don't answer to no courtrooms no more. We don't show up to court. In case you didn't know. So, I mean, how do y'all feel about that? Because I'm sure you're not happy about it. Being real. I have a feeling you're not happy about it. Thank you very much for that, Marishi. Always good to get it right. Come on, say something. Say something. At all. Okay. It's always been the same, man. All right, give me a minute real quick. And there he goes again. Yes, I am Rich Veritone, and you're here with Weed and Sneed. That's what I've decided to call this little travesty that we are having here this evening. Now, allow me to creep up here. Okay. Yes, we, we've made contact. Damn it. Like that's a true demented psychopath. Um, that's a sociopath. That's a cold-blooded killer and a serial killer. And you can tell by her actions, because like I said, she never stops. There, it's like the Terminator, the Geninator. There's never a fucking 
part where they stop. There's never a part where they make sense. It's just a like, and that's what's so weird to me is it's like I had never done anything. I don't know, uh, Marishi. I understand that's being worked on, though. Um, good old Freedom of Information Act stuff. Perhaps we will see some footage soon. We can only hope. So I'm like, what are you fighting? And then it would just be projection or reversal. Like, that's a person who literally would create a whole conflict, a life and death conflict. Nice to them. They can force conflicts without you doing anything. Because if you press someone hard enough and you're on their phone and you just keep fucking typing and talking shit, anyone's going to snap. If you keep berating someone and talking shit to them and acting like nobody can see you, anyone's going to snap. Let me tell you this one more time. I'll snap all I want. I don't care how you feel. I'm not here to be politically correct. I'm not here to be nice about it. You know what I mean? I don't care how you all fucking feel. I don't. I'm here to do what I need to do. And that's it. The thing that I do. I can make my fucking money and go on about my merry fucking way like Mary Poppins. Make sense? I was never here to make friends. You feel me? I think it's so funny, man, when keyboard warriors feel like they affect you. Like, that shit's funny. <laughs> that shit is really funny, bro. But like I said, how, I mean, how's everything going for y'all? Like, how's, how's Nutty's failed scooter business? How's that going? I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. I think it's downright sad. I can't wait for when Christina's up. I can't wait for Christina to go in on y'all and just rip you a new asshole. That's what I can't wait for. I can't wait for Christina to just rip y'all a new fucking asshole. Because y'all don't understand fighting the good. This is where his mommy fetish really, really begins to show out, isn't it? Unbelievable. Christina is going to show all of you what it's all about. Mr. Gangster, Mr. Big Talk, Mr. Tough Talk. He's going to sick his girlfriend on you. Beware, pussy. Cops I've ever seen. Most corrupt bitches in the world. Everybody knows Green Bay PD corrupt. Everybody knows most police departments are corrupt. What's your point? And what is this shit of you intimidate me? How? We had five standoffs. I was dolo. I told you to suck my dick and called you my my bitch and pussies. I, I, I spat in a dude's direction that was with his bitch and he kept driving. He said, you're yelling at the police. I said, yeah, I'll yell who I want. Bitch, do something about it. Spat in his direction. He ain't get out the car. He ain't do nothing. Him and his bitch sat right there. That was ready to go. We all know what Ed Kemper did to his mom. Don't we? I don't play games, man. I let people know every day. I tell fucking black bitches straight to their face, like, yeah, I'm not the one. That's how I roll into places. I don't know where y'all do shit where you from or where you at, but the way I roll is I'm a live wire. For real, for real. I'm really, I'm really about this ghetto hood shit, man. I don't know who y'all think you're talking to. Like I said, they don't understand. I'm like a hood nigga in a white man's body. People, of course, people would think it's funny until motherfuckers see what I'm bringing. You might think it's real funny till you see how real that shit is. How fucking dangerous. Like I said, my life's been a whole lot harder than Curtis Snow. Y'all want to talk about being hard, getting hard, being hard in the hood? Tyree Snee, the hardest thing walking. I got burnt through my stomach and abdomen. I'm fighting for my life. Are you fucking kidding me? The hardest things currently walking are the inmates in your immediate vicinity. 
Huh? That made me laugh, man. I make these little scrawny niggas look like Mike. Even just with my physical alone. Look at my body. This is all real. And you think a bitch would ever cheat on that? Never in your life. Ever. Cheating can destroy somebody's whole future, man. Cheating will destroy somebody, the way they look at love, the, the, any future relationship. It'll end their whole life. Again, I'm going to ask one more time. How could you do that and why would you do that? And then why do you lie about it? Why, why do you get into something knowing that it's going to end if you had somebody good that's worthy of going the long haul? I'm just asking a question. Why can't I get an answer? If you're going to do something, how come you can't ever own up and stand on what you do? That's my only question. Why don't you do that? If you were really proud of what you do, wouldn't you stand on the shit you do? Because I would. I still don't own my shit. Right? You made up all them lies about, I got this, I got that. I didn't give a fuck. I did it in front of everyone. People act like they did something. You know I, mean? I don't need to do shit but ignore your bitch ass. That's what I can do. I mean, you need to click the link. I mean, if you want... That last statement is a hell of a lot funnier now than it was a day and a half ago. I want to have a discussion because, like I said, you keep on acting like you repping some kind of fake group. You don't get no exposure, no marketing, no money. I think it's sad. Like I said, musically, you ain't fucking with me. Your whole group is dog shit. I mean, what do you mean? But you see, they obsess with me. They keep coming over here. But they can't click the link. All y'all ducking me on a the panel. They cannot handle me on a panel because I bring fat. They can't handle my shows like yesterday's because I bring fat. So when I bring these facts, they get butt hurt because what can they say or do? Nothing. Sit there and put up with it. That's the actual truth. They can't do shit, but sit there and put up with it. What are they going to do? What's anybody going to do about anything I'm kicking? Honestly, what are they going to do? It's not a fucking thing, man. Yuri's son, everybody, say good evening. Uh, if you don't know, he's been arrested. He is in jail. That's what happened. Anybody in the chat want to help her get caught up to speed here? Can one bitch and complain? They can try to come at me. They can try to pull their fake shit, they corrupt shit, they snitch shit. They can say whatever. It's not going to change nothing. It's going to get fooled every time. I mean, like I said, y'all fuck with me if you want. Play with me if you want. I don't care who you are or what level. I don't care if you're a whole corporation. Play with me if you want. I'm checking everybody because if you play with me, what's going to happen is any matter, I'm going to end up taking a court. It's going to go to court, and then you're going to realize this dude really makes enough money to have legal representation, no problem. Especially when you talk about during COVID, during COVID, they don't even want to lock people up. So you hope. I believe he'll do 30 days. What he what he gets for what he's been arrested for is probably not going to be that harsh. His biggest worry, like I said a while ago, is going to be staying out of the Austin State Hospital. That's where his trouble lies, I think. At least that's what my 36 years of forklift experience tells me. I'll shut up now. Boy, number one, it's not possible. Because like I said, I'm fucking good and I'm safe. But number two, it don't matter. It wouldn't make any sense. Because they're going to say... Oh, you got this going already? You're a business owner? Okay. You a good dude, clearly. And you got people hating on you and lying on your name every day and trying to threaten you and hold leverage and shit while they the ones attacking you. So you ain't doing nothing wrong. Keep standing up for yourself, buddy. That's how that would go. Any other way, you face a fucking million dollar lawsuit. That doesn't scare me. And I go right back to my own business. You can't take my business from me. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. So this whole thing of what y'all have always done, where y'all keep talking about, well, you got a warrant. You got, we're going to lock you up because you want to see me in a cell. 
like I said, it's not possible, but even if it ever was, it wouldn't do nothing because I own my own business. So I just go right back to what I'm doing. Like I said, you can't take my gift from me. Either. So I just, I just think it's funny, man. I, I think the word for the wise, I wouldn't fuck with me. Ever. So like I said, why do y'all say... Can't Frost, I got your text, and I found that to be quite interesting. Back to our show. Can we let, let us see? Would it see what? I don't need to show you nothing of mine. Y'all know what I got. Fuck? Motherfucker, I'm richer than any celebrity right now. What are you talking about? I'm living the good life. I have options. I'm liquid. Okay? I don't understand what you're saying. I own multiple homes. I'm a fucking billionaire. And these people, they want, they want to sit there and talk shit and act like they... They can doubt it or there's a point of contention. I, they love that word contention. Ever since I used it, they started trying to repeat it. They copy my words. I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, how are you going to act like something's in question when I don't fuck with you? Like, the truth is, you don't know nothing about me. Why do you know nothing about me? Because I don't trust you. But I trust Christina. Another legend joins us. Ladies and gentlemen, say hi to Trevor Brixton. How are you this evening? That's the truth. I trust Christina with my life. So understand that. <laughs> you feel me? I'm going to tell you something, man. Christina holds the key, baby. Christina, she knows everything. You know what I mean? Now have fun trying to harass my girlfriend and turn her against me. Good luck with that. Good luck with that because I'm going to tell you something, man, right now. I'm so strong, I've always stood on my own. I always will stand on my own, and nothing you could ever do or say, considering towards me, would affect me. And it wouldn't take nothing from me, as I told you. And there's no way to do it. So that's why I laugh at the thought. But I just trust Christina with my life, and I'm telling you right now, she'll never crack, fold, or bend. We don't crack, fold, or bend, for real. And we really about this street shit, and Christina's right there with me. I mean, Christina's planning on literally being my Batgirl. Like, she's going to be riding with me when we putting in work. Had to stop there. Christina's going to be his Batgirl. It, it sounds like a song, doesn't it? Christina's going to be his Batgirl. Oh God! Anyway, what the what the hell were we doing here? Working the street, fighting crime, handling shit. That's our real shit. Like I'm gonna teach her 52 blocks. So, like I said, it's just it's different, man. You know, I understand that people want to judge me. I just don't care. I understand that. That you don't like me because I shine and I never stop and, and I'm the new minority and I represent that shit so I got a lot of flavor to me and I shine. But you know what Christina said about me? Christina said, you a whole ass snack. She said, I'm a whole ass snack. And you're telling me that a girl who actually has a good taste in men is saying that and you think anyone would cheat on me? Man, y'all are lost out here, bro. I mean... She's young. She's around my age. She's fucking beautiful. I mean, you don't understand, man. She's a blonde, first of all. Oh, Goddess Frost, can you bring Mr. Brixton up to speed? This girl looks like better than Harley Quinn. I'm not kidding. This girl has the whole package. She's got tits. She's got a body. She's got ass. I already know. She's got everything. Legs. You know what I mean? Like I said, I mean it is what it is, man. Like, like when, when people, when other people came to use me, I just used them for what they were worth. I mean, you're the one who put my dick on blast out here. I mean, you've got literally any bitch that comes within a five thousand, I'm not even gonna say a five hundred thousand mile radius of me, or catches wind of me on the internet, they're gonna be like, he's got a huge cock. I just don't care because I'm not trying to get anyone. I'm happy with who I got. 
See, sometimes you got to learn to appreciate who you have or you haven't lived. See, that's the thing. You can't ever sit down and just enjoy someone and something and get to know someone. I can't. That's the beauty. That's what the, the meaning is. That's what a relationship is. To just sit there and say, oh, I'm in a relationship. No, you're in a hostel. Right? You're in a hostel. That's what you're in. You think shit is like a hotel in a hostel that you can jump in and out of. You got in and out of energy because you're a coward. You're afraid of love. I mean, that's your curse. I mean, like I said, when you get too close to somebody like that, they all do the same thing and explode. Same thing happened with ashes. Point is, y'all ain't got no love in your goddamn blood. I mean, there's nothing there. There's no love. Y'all got none but hate. I'm telling you the right advice. You should change that shit, and then it might change the way I perceive and see you. If y'all really care about my validation this much because you're chasing it, like I said, change. Like, really change. Like, take a long, hard look in the mirror for, like, 50 days. To be somewhat serious for just a moment, because I'm not here to be serious, Tyrese need life. His his life really is sad. It, it's a waste of a human life because his mind is broken. And it's beyond repair. I think I think it's beyond medication, but what do I know? I'm just an internet troll. I'm just a roast comedian. I'll shut up now. Straight, like biblical prophecy, and just work on you and fixing who you are around nobody. Like be by yourself, isolate yourself, get a mirror. And I don't care how much it hurts to see your reflection, Narc, look at it and say, this dude doesn't hate me. He's trying to help me. I've never had hate for any of y'all. Y'all the ones that keep hating on me. I mean, like I said, they won't, they won't ever just approach me correctly. I mean, Ashes is still trying to contact me. I don't even read that shit. Like, that bitch is delusional. Like, I don't talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, all hail the one, the only, the real Tyrese Need. He joins us now here on the show. Yes, he most certainly does. Uh, oh, boy. That's the only part that's like, oh, boy. Uh... I can see that I can't be nice about this. How would that make sense for you to even talk in that manner when it's not possible in this reality we live in, bitch? Here's the link. But that's supposed to trigger me because you're nuts? No, I just look at it like, oh, it's a nut-ass bitch. Oh, y'all are nuts. You're plumb insane. And it took me a long time to realize how fucking crazy y'all are. So when you say Shamcock, Shamcock's fucking insane. She's so demented, she can't see straight. Again, for you to have no compassion and to claim that you hate someone on the internet who you never met and take YouTube to the level you do trying to kill people and kill me like you've done, it's insane. For you to think... Oh, there you go, Scarface, that's me. If you think that you're not facing prison charges in prison time, you're insane. And here I go again. Yeah, I've, I've been waiting for four and a half years, and yes, I know this is just a misdemeanor, and if they only deal with the charges that he has been hit with, the most he is going to get is six months. Maybe he's going to get a year. He's been running from the Lily Garcia charges for years and years but i really believe it's going to be the psychiatrist that's going to get him it's not going to be the judge if you really think that you could say take me to court what is that supposed to do convince me to not do so did it work no i just told you when i'm ready i will do so if i feel like it when i feel like it I'm not spending no money on putting people away that I don't even give a fuck what they do. They 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 in hell either way. I don't I don't need to put you away to win nothing. I'm not involved in anything like that. I don't live. Good evening, Lily Muniz. Uh, I certainly hope I, I pronounced that correctly. Forgive me uh, if I didn't. Uh, he's been arrested for uh, several things. And are you Lily? I I must ask. Live my life like y'all. 
y'all the ones that want to be in courtrooms because you're narcs and you're miserable, you want to argue and fight, that ain't for me, bro. I'm going to tell you why that ain't for me. That ain't for me because that's the signal of people, right, who don't have anything, okay? That's the whole point. That's the symbol of people who don't have to. So when they can't enjoy their life, right, what do they do? They want to be in courtrooms. They want to talk about this and that. They want to sit there and argue and bitch. Like I said, it's... Ladies and gentlemen, Lily is with us. Will you all please say hello and welcome her to the show. We're doing Weed and Sneed tonight on this glorious, glorious evening on Negative 43 KUNT-TV. It's now 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Now, it's time to get back to what we're here for. Pointless. The shit you say is funny. It doesn't mean anything. Everything you say, I don't understand. I mean, what's the relevance? Okay, whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the fuck? I, I think it's so funny how lost y'all are, man, that y'all can't hear, y'all don't have a clue what's going on with me. Like, I just... And we are so glad that you found us, Lily. Uh, yes, there are people here that can get you up to speed on what's going on better than I can. Yeah, well, with this whole live streaming thing going on. But yes, it's it's a it's a fantastic day for anybody that values decency. I think it's funny, bro. I really do. I, I think it's hilarious. I know your game, bro. It, it, it is a game. It just doesn't exist. But like I said, do what you do. I think it's funny. But like I said, I'm going to keep on doing what the fuck I'm doing. I'm going to keep on winning. I'm going to keep on annihilating shit. Right? I'm going to keep on eating y'all like soft serve ice cream. I'm going to keep on going live because I'm going to tell you what it's been about the entire time. Is they just want me to not go live. That's just like that developer bitch who changes her name every Friday said. It's because you're going live, right? Because y'all are trying to subliminally intimidate me and terrorize me and say, don't go live or we'll lock you up. Not fun with that shit. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. There's no way to lock me up. I'm in fucking Michigan, you moron. That's number one. Number two, what are you even saying? Because it doesn't make any coherent sense because anything you're talking about doesn't exist. I don't have anything on me. I don't have any charges. You want to talk about the same thing again? Homie, I did 800 shows establishing reality, bro. There's nothing on me. You people are corrupt and weird. That's it. You can't have a continuation of something. It's either then and there and it's over with or it doesn't. Oh, Lonzi, you know better than that. He's in jail. work the end I don't give a fuck about Austin I'm not in Austin I don't give a fuck about anything you talk about the fuck are you saying <laughs> what the fuck that nervous laugh ladies and gentlemen just like a little girl you have fun with that you know what I mean you know what? You know what Christina has to say. What you're saying makes no coherent sense. The whole concept of anything you're talking about. You can't transfer cases, you moron. There's no case, and you can't transfer them. That's illegal, you moron. That's why you, you you're so stupid. At that time, with what you're talking about, you had said some delusional dribble about what did you say? He said, Jenny said the police can't do it. Of course they can't. Do anything about what? A man defending himself from psychos? What are you talking about? I have so many screenshots. It's unreal, bro. What are you talking about? The place you're... Who could ever forget I went to Michigan? 
Holy shit. I mean, it makes a dent in your brain that never heals. We're talking about there's already police reports on you, you moron. Holy shit, do you realize that they would have to do their job and look up the police reports? You'd go to prison. The fuck? What are you saying? That's all they do. They sit in the chat and they fish every day and they think, oh yeah, I'm going to guess. You have fun guessing because I'm going to tell you something right now. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. You weigh the fuck off. <laughs> and it's funny as fuck. You have no idea. All jokes don't land. Take it from somebody that's bombed more times than I care to admit to. You, you're fucking right. You vastly underestimate me, bro. Vastly. Like I said, you can threaten me all you want. I'm going to keep coming on live. I'm going to keep doing what I do. Ain't nothing I've ever done illegal. I don't know what you're talking about. I have nothing on me. No cases. I've established that. And you don't have that kind of power to just say, oh, well, I'm going to attack you and then hold something over you as a Who are you? You attacked, right? Okay, that's harassment. Right there. Boom. You have nothing. I'm supposed to and have to defend my life. By the law, I'm supposed to. But like I said, they sit there and they fish and they, they don't understand that what you're saying is irrelevant to me. I'm in fucking Michigan. But you have fun with that. Tell me what you're going to do to me here in Michigan. That's what I want to know. What are you going to do with me here? Oh, not a fucking thing? Okay. Christina said the same shit, how funny and hilarious it is. These people are so deluded. You, you told Christina something about you was going to tell, you was going to forward threats for threats to Michigan PD. Where in Michigan? You don't know. You don't know where we're at. That's number one. Number two, forward what threats? Christina never made no threats. You see, they want to call it trolling, but it's terrorism. They're threatening people. Okay, then. Ladies and gentlemen, Griker joins us this evening on Weed and Sneed. Say hi. We have a right to threaten you. We have a right to lay you the fuck down, do we not? I mean, you're threatening our lives and our freedom. Okay, therefore, what you're saying, there can't be a case, and everything you're saying is hoopla bullshit. Like I said, you tamper with the federal legal system, you do fucking... Jasmine Renee, good evening. Life behind bars. If you want to catch yourself a life sentence, be my guest. I'm going to tell you right now, I will never worry about shit. There's nothing you can do to me. I know that for a fact. I know I don't have any cases. I don't have any charges, nothing. And that's why y'all met. If that wasn't the case, you'd be talking about it. Constantly. Right? All it is is pretend shit. Bro, I don't give a fuck about a bunch of fucking familiars. I don't care about your system. Did you not hear the song? There's nothing you can do to me. You can't stop shit I'm doing. Like I said, lock me up, throw away the key. What are you going to do? You think it's going to stop anything I'm doing? How? I own all my shit. What's it going to stop from? I, I don't get it. Nacho friend joins us right here on Weed and Sneed. Sorry, looks like you've been here for a couple of minutes, but I'm having trouble keeping up with all of the comments, and it's great. Keep going. You don't know where I'm at. You don't have a clue. I'm mobile. I'm literally fucking like, are you serious? That's funny, bro. You're fucking hilarious. I'm in Michigan. What part do you not understand? Holy fuck, dude. They think I'm kidding and shit. Like, yeah, that's a hobby of mine. I get online and I lie. Who do I sound like? That sounds awfully familiar, right? Ain't that what you do? <laughs> Ain't that what you do every day? Get online and lie? That's not my hobby. Could be drug-related at this time of the evening. Isn't that what you do? Don't you try to call me a liar, but you can't point out any lie I said? So what? So you threaten me with fake shit. That's supposed to scare me? Okay, it doesn't exist. I'm crystal clear on my record. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any warrants anywhere. You're the one who made up, oh, you got a warrant, you got this. Really? Then how come when you sent the cops to my mansion, how come they didn't do shit? 
How come they literally just looked at the window, saw that nothing was broken because you lied and told them I broke into my mother's house, so therefore you're on record lying to police? That's prison time. Why don't they do their job? Like I said, there's no anything on me. I've paid the fines. I got everything good and out the way. Hey, if a bitch get on my phone that's a stranger and I don't know her fuck with, that's established, hey, I'm not going Travis County is in Texas. I'm going to take your shit at all. I'm going to fuck back. I'm not scared. So you're trying to intimidate someone. I'll threaten and fucking attack anybody attacking and threatening me. My, my daddy and mommy told me to hit back. Fuck you. Now do something about it, bitch. Oh, wait. You're going to do absolutely nothing because you're powerless and you can't. Because your lives don't stand. Venus 14, everybody. Say hello. See, I don't care about corrupt cops. They can suck my dick, too. I don't care about your faggot fucking system. What are you talking about? What, what are you, what's that going to do? What you going to give me? You going to give me, what, are you going to detain me for a day? Let's live in their world for a minute. What you going to do? You going to detain me for a day for defending myself and my life? Okay. But that's what it is, and I won't let anyone tell me otherwise. I have a responsibility, and I have to, as an activist, teach everyone to defend their life and do the right thing. What are you talking about? Y'all attacking me. You threatening me, are you not? Right now, you're threatening, oh, well, we're going to tamper with the legal. That's a federal crime. You know, I remember a day when we didn't have names. We, we were just happy to get pot. But everything has a name now. But it's not just sales. It's actually different strains. There are things going on with weed that we weren't even contemplating 40 years ago. And I've got the buzz to prove it right now. That's terrorism. We have an oath to this country to fight terrorists. Do you understand that? That's what these wars are fought over. World War III is going to be about killing terrorists. So what do you mean? You're doing terrorism, are you not? We actually have an oath to this country called the Constitution to literally kill people who are fucking terrorizing Americans. That's what terrorists are. You can have domestic terrorists. Do you realize that? So how would that be illegal, anything you're saying, to defend yourself in your life? What are you talking about? People actually would have the legal right to take your life. You need to learn the law. So see, you don't stress me because all you do is just talk kitty shit and then say, well, our system does whatever they want. Do it. What's it going to do to me? How are you going to do it if you don't know where I'm at and you don't know what I'm doing? You have no fucking clue what's going on. You're going to guess? You have fun with that. You have fun with that and you play with me if you want and you see what happens. How about that? You and the corrupt kids. You see if you don't get exposed and dragged. You feel me? Because see, what you don't understand is... It is a very interesting proposition. Anybody have any thoughts on the question on the screen? Anyone want to take a field trip? to his court hearing end of the summer meetup. What do you think? Back to the show. I literally have knowledge. I've got eyes on the street everywhere. Anything that happens, I always find out. Do you understand that? So I think it's hilarious. Like I said, man, I ain't even worried about none of that shit. I don't give a fuck what they talking about because it doesn't apply and it ain't relevant. But what is relevant is the fact that y'all can't intimidate me off this platform and you can't fuck with me. And you know it, and I know it. Mike Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Anything you talk about is some kitty shit, man. It's not going to carry nothing with it in the first place. What you're talking about won't even serve time. Motherfuckers, literally what you're saying right there, the plot you said, they wouldn't even waste their time. They got better shit to do. That's the funniest part. They wouldn't give a fuck. Some internet YouTube shit? Like I said, what, is, what are you going to do? You're going to be like, yeah, he, he, the same thing over and over again. He threatened us. There's already a report on you, like, way back in the day where you're talking about, there's a report on you for harassment. 
you, the person who's hid behind that fake account and just said that dumbass shit that doesn't exist and can never happen, you have a filed report on you. They can't delete those reports. Smart one. So therefore, what you're threatening, number one, it's irrelevant because I ain't there. But like I said, even if I was at any point, it wouldn't be applicable. It wouldn't do shit to me. You don't scare me. There's nothing you can do. I checkmated you. That's all I want you to understand is that I can go and be anywhere. It's not going to do shit to me. But if you want to think I'm there, hey, do what you do. Call the cops. I mean, how are they going to feel? <laughs> And there he goes again. Let me see what I can or can't find. I don't have nothing to oh, defend. Well, right? that's good. Like I told you, I don't talk to 5-0. I'm with Christina. Christina would literally put money on my books. That would be an excellent vacation. I would love for you to lock me up. I would love for you to lock me up on made-up shit and just keep on lying on my name and building up a federal case so I can sue the shit out of you and you end up dying in a prison cell. Try me. How about that? Does that sound scared to you? I didn't think so. Sometimes, man, you got to learn to just shut the fuck up and understand when you lose. See, they're sore losers, man. They, they, they don't understand. They're sore losers. They, they don't get, there's nothing that can intimidate me or stop me. There's no angle on me that you could possibly ever have. But I love when you fish because I like seeing you squirm. I like I like when you think that you're clever, but you're stupid as fuck. In our history, have you ever been smart? No. I'm divinely protected, you jackass. You can't steal my blessings. Like I said, whatever you want to do, do it. I fully encourage you like always. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. I want you to do whatever you're saying. Because it's not going to affect the fucking thing. Because you can't take away from me my blessings that God got for me. No matter where I'm at, no matter what I do, nothing. I'm free as a bird, homie, and I ain't scared to go anywhere. You know what I mean? I'll be there. I just ain't there right now. And you won't do shit. What's that going to do to me? I'm still going to be a billionaire, still going to be rich, and nobody's going to lock me up because I ain't doing nothing wrong. And all I do is mind my own business. I don't talk to y'all. I never had a conversation with that bitch or y'all ever. I'm on here publicly exposing you. So how long do you, do you realize there's statutes to shit? I mean, like I said, are you trying to sound at fault if you're attacking me on my phone and recording me? I mean, that's malicious. That's manipulation of the system of law. That's not legal. You don't. You have law backwards. There is no, no officer, no courtroom that could ever explain to me and tell me that that's okay. No, Green Bay PD is fucking corrupt and shit. And they're getting dragged publicly for it. I mean, like I said, there's, there's nobody who's going to try me like that at any point. That doesn't even cross my mind as a fear. So y'all really think you're running something. Like, y'all really think you own something. Own what? Own who? The fuck? Bitch, if you could ever touch me, you would have been done it, dude. What are you going to... What are you talking about? I'm confused, homie. And they don't have anything, and they know it. That's why they quiet as fuck now. That's why they say shit and then they be like, hey, she's pregnant. You can tell I'm not now because pregnant over what? Some irrelevant fucking talk? Some shit that's not going to do anything? That's literally fucking utterly pointless? Like I said, do it. I think it's funny. It doesn't scare me if, if you want to call random people and lie on places I'm not at, things I'm not even, like, whatever, bro. They're going to just keep looking at that like, okay, this is weird. Platty has arrived. This dude must be a star. Huh. And like I said, man, I'm not going to repeat myself. Everyone knows I'm going to defend my life. Everybody knows how I get down. You threaten my life, we got a fucking problem. And I've got all your screenshots. I got your screenshots of you admitting a witchcraft. That's illegal. I've got all your screenshots threatening my life every day, everything. Harassing me nonstop. There's probably over a million screenshots. But what the fuck are you talking about? Do you think that I don't have civil rights? Do you think that I can't defend myself in court? 
What are they going to do when I'm in court and I say, fuck y'all, fuck what you talking about. Here's your goddamn million screenshots right here for what they doing, right? And every day they threatening my life, threatening my freedom, right? Right? And manipulating the legal system and y'all are sitting there letting them. That's a million dollar lawsuit, homie. Please do it. I would love for you to do it, only like I said, it ain't going to do shit and it's not possible because I'm not there. But when I am, I challenge you to do that. Come on, bro. You're not making any sense at this point, man. Now you just sound fucking utterly fucking stupid. Like the cow you are. I'm supposed to be scared? Isn't that that same shit how you say I found you? It's illegal to locate human beings, buddy. You can't find me. Yes, that's illegal. Green Bay PD broke the law. You've got officers facing prison time. That's the position we're in. I have you by the law. You can talk all you it could possibly give a new meaning to Pepper Jack. You want, you could say we're going to keep lying. Keep lying. Lie to everyone. So what? Lying on me ain't doing shit to me, homie. Lying to me is not locking me up. I haven't been locked up once because of your fake-ass threats and your fucking death threats and all this shit you doing, twisting, or reversing what you doing, trying to put the crimes on me that you committed when I'm just defending myself. How you going to do that? When did that happen? I paid those fines like nothing, bitch. Fuck out my face. I was never in jail. So what are you saying? Didn't you just say I was jail and blah, blah, blah? I wasn't in jail. Shows how much. You are now. You are now. I had to stop and put that one in. I just had to. But you know about me. But then you say, I'm over here, I'm over there. You don't know where I'm at. I told you where I'm at. Apparently, you just don't listen and don't realize I'm being honest with you. But okay. Because that's what you want to make it every time. Like, I'm scared or something. Scared of what? The fuck? Are you making phone calls? Make them. Phone calls ain't going to lose me none of my assets. Phone calls ain't going to make me any less rich. Phone calls is not going to lock me up. Phone calls is not going to get me harassed and bothered. Phone, Phone calls, calls is going to walk you into a federal case. Oh, Lord. This whole thing just has so much more depth, so much more richness than it had just a day and a half ago, doesn't it? Once the context changes just a little bit, the comedy blooms like a flower in the spring or some bullshit like that fuck what am i saying like i said there's plenty of people that that call cops on me do sh the shit you doing you just gonna walk into a federal fucking case anything i do i stand on anything i say i stand on yes i defend myself i defend my life and when i'm around people who are the enemy my spirit tells me and i will fuck you up what's confusing about that that's what i'm supposed to do i have that legal and civil right i have to defend my life at all costs did you people threaten mine yes therefore you have no grounds you can't move on me. so you can't do shit you can call the butthurt police all you want it will never affect a fucking thing not just for that reason, but for other reasons, like I listed. So, like I said, like, I just love it when people are powerless and they don't understand it. They don't get it. Like, these people are so lost right now. They don't have a fucking clue what's going on. They don't know what I'm doing. They don't know how I'm moving. They don't have a clue. And they really upset. So, they're trying to guess in the chat. That shit is hilarious, man. This no, we know exactly where you are. We know exactly what you're doing. And because of us, because of us, because of you, some of us have smoked more than we really should have smoked this evening. And yet we're going to smoke more because it's a party, baby. It's got to be one of the most epic shows on YouTube that they don't have a fucking clue. Let me ask you something, man. If you claim that I'm where you just said, right? Why would I stay there if you threaten me every day? <laughs> Answer that. Here's your sign. What are you talking about, dude? I don't understand. Why do you act like because you say delusion, it's gospel, and everyone's going to go along with it? No, any fucking kid would be like, this don't make any sense. 
Oh, we're going to have content. Oh, yes, we're going to have content. I'm working on another Rich Baritone interview thing, video. You'll, you'll have that coming this week. But we may really have some stuff coming. I'll, I'll shut up. You know what I mean? Like I said, send them anytime you want. What are they going to say? Literally, what the fuck are they going to say? What are they going to do? Not a fucking thing. That's a guaranteed fucking thing. When are you going to send them? Where are you going to send them to? Bitch. How? How are you going to know where I'm at? When? How are you going to know what time I'm somewhere? You're not, right? You're fucking simple. That's what you are. You're fucking stupid. And I think it's funny, and I'm going to take full advantage of it. Believe that. You feel that? Like I said, bro, these people do the same thing. Every time I come on YouTube, they say the same old tired-ass threats. Like, I've done shit that I haven't even done. Dog, I'm not a criminal, man. I've never broken the law. I don't need to. I make all my money legally. I defend myself against fucking terrorists, foreign and domestic. Yes, I took a fucking oath in this country, too. Yes. That's legal. Smart one. You're a terrorist. What you're doing is domestic fucking terrorism. Tracking a human being, that's terrorism. Do you understand... You could basically get lynched for what you're doing. You could basically face the death penalty. That's how stupid you are. And you tell them I'm supposed to worry because you want to whine and say, we're trying to kill him, but he threatens us. Well, that's usually what happens if you threaten to kill him. <laughs> Holy shit, you're funny. No, you are fucking stupid. That's a simple thing. We are just about done with this one. We have 20 minutes to go, and then we will have another stream from Tyrese Needs, so stay tuned. The fucking weirdos, but they mad, and we're going to block all his blessings and block his life. You have fun with that, bro. Like I said, lock me up on false charges anytime you like. You're going to have a hard fucking... Baby gangsta here this evening. I'm doing so, and if you ever do, I'm going to tell you something. It's not going to stop shit, and then you're going to really get mad. Right? Hey, like I said, man, you out of cards, bro. You ran out of that chance a long time ago, buddy. You understand? No, you made the constant decision to harass me, and I had already forewarned you. Do not harass me. Do not get on my motherfucking phone talking shit, typing as fast as you can. I don't play that shit. I didn't play that shit in Discord. I don't play that shit now. Fuck you. If I tell you stay off my phone, I mean stay off my fucking phone. Anyone want to have a coherent conversation, that's cool. As a grown man, I pay for my shit. I have that right. You're not going to get on this fucking phone talking shit. I'll pull up and smash you on sight. You understand that? And any faggot bitch or pig who got a problem with that, see me. Now do something, bitch. Because you're not going to do a fucking thing. You feel that? I do what I want to do. You do what you can do. You understand? Y'all live in your cities. I own mine wherever I'm at. You feel that? I love this game, man. I love doing what the fuck I do, man. I got them discouraged as a motherfucker. They don't know what to do anymore. Your threats don't scare me. You don't scare me. I'm running you the fuck over. That's right. I get down. I beat up narcs. That's right. 100%. That's right. I put hands on bitches who sit there and come from my assets. You 100% right. That's what the fuck I do. I put hands on people, fool. You feel that? And all y'all running from this ass whooping. That's right. I'm a straight gangster. That's how I get down. How you like that? What you gonna do about it, bitch? You feel me? You play victim, faggot. That's some pussy shit. You like being a faggot? You take dick and mash. You and your pigs. Not me. 
You know what I mean? It's the dick you take. Like I said, man, you're going to have a hard fucking time fucking with me, man. I'm telling you right now, bro. I don't think y'all understand the power I got. I don't think you understand that you don't know anything about me. You don't know my movements. You don't have a fucking clue where I'm at or what I'm doing. It's all fucking hilarious. It's funny. These people are draconian. That is the message. These people are not real. See, the thing is, as long as you don't react to anything they say. I got a brown eye for a moon pie. Yee-haw. They have nothing. They want to put you in a low vibrational energy, but they can't. Because I'm a high vibrating individual. And nothing you do or say could ever change that. That's what's so funny. They can't fuck with this real shit. They literally can't. It is what the fuck it is. It's always going to be what it is. Now hold up. Baby, I need your love. I think he's going to so, yeah. be hearing that shortly. Like said, man, there's nothing you he can got do a pretty me, mouth. And I think it's fucking huh. phenomenal. No, he I doesn't. But back that, to the like, action. I'm happy and I'm in love and I got Christina with me. And like I said, all y'all do is the same one. So you keep following me around and threatening my life and my freedom all over again. And come with the same one too and don't understand. I'm way beyond all that shit. I left all that fuck shit behind, man. Literally. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing there for me. But everything is with Christina. And that's really the truth. Like I'm He's got to move on because there's nothing left for him in fuck shit. I think we have a new town name in purgatory. Fuck shit. I'm happy. I'm safe. I'm protected. I'm good. I got everything I need. Like I said, it's an amazing feeling, man, when you find somebody who's really willing to ride for you. Who really supports you. Who, like I said, isn't trying to terrorize you and cyber bully you while they're with you. That That's pretty fucking crazy, man. Like I said, you could do whatever you want to me. You could lock me up, whatever. It'll never stop me from talking. You're never going to stop my message, Trick. You understand? You're never going to make me decline. You're only going to help me advance. That's the part you don't get. So like I said, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love being on top, man. It's a great fucking feeling being at the top, genuinely. It's a good fucking feeling. Wouldn't you like to be here? Wouldn't you like to be here? Isn't that why you're so mad? Hey, like I said, man, if I was scared, I wouldn't be here right now talking to you. If I was scared of anyone or any. Yep, I forgot to do it again, I think. So anyway, what I was saying was, for any of you wondering, the name of this video is A World Filled with Envious, Hating, Jealous, Trash, Narcissist Versus Me and Love of My Life, Christina. The whole thing's so fucking silly. I think I wouldn't be on here. Like I said... My job on this world and my earth's purpose is to spread my message and help people. I have a gift. I have a million gifts. And Christina loves me for them. So like I said, there's my answer to you. No matter what you ever do, I'm going to always spread my message. I'm always live my life to the fullest. I'm going to always be happy. I'm going to always be a billionaire, bitch, because I already made it. And that's the part you're not listening to or understanding. And I think it's funny. Feel that? I think it's fucking hilarious, actually. All right, now, 
let's end this with the song. And like I said, I think what I'm doing is kind of working. I might be actually healing. And it's real easy to get what I need. Like, it's all around me. So, I'm healing. And I know that makes you narps mad. <laughs> and I'm happy and in love. You know they mad as a bitch. Listen to my song, Kurt. All credit to Insane Beats. I'm the king, the sheriff, the meanest. Ain't no front on me. I'm the cleanest. I'm the king, the sheriff, the meanest. Ain't no front on me. I'm the cleanest. That's up to me. Well, you're gonna need steps, bitch. Ain't nothing can stop me. I'm a monster. Fine dining, straight wine, and red lobster. Nothing. Bitch, I'm a monster. Leave you in a saucer. These hoes go to camp oh, quiet shit. now. <laughs> ice cream roll up on me. This should be beautiful, by the way. Don't rap at me like happy. All I gotta do is get mad and that's your assy. Get pissed off, then I knock you off the map. Be I sappy, climb bitching while I'm on a mission. You little hoes can't keep wishing. Can't take a thing from me. And I promise you, I'm writing a book, yeah. I'm, I'm the king, bitch. Yeah, the meanest. Ain't no fun on me. I'm the cleanest. I'm the king, bitch. Yeah, the meanest. Ain't no fun on me. I'm the cleanest. Shit turned into a movie. Now watch how I handle all these groupies. Can't no bitch seduce me. I'm a You can't contain me, Trick. My people built the prison, faggot. Remember who you're talking about. get going y'all like i said the shit is funny to me i love shitting on y'all i'm gonna keep shitting on you nothing is gonna stop me shitting on you i got nothing but time to do this shit and i have a lot going like i'm busy too don't get me wrong i'm busy as fuck but when i'm not busy i got time to fuck it all up and i think it's so funny because like i said i mean it's just everything is is different now like I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm just free. And it's just an amazing feeling. I'm in love. I got somebody that's going to take care of me. Like, I don't worry about nothing anymore. I'm scared of nothing. How, how about that? How about... See, my thing is, I, I like I like them to understand, like, there's nothing you can say to me that's going to make me upset. Just because you talk doesn't mean that you're speaking biblical prophecy and you're right. That's the thing. Y'all are always wrong. Anything you say is a lie. How about that? 
How about the fact that you can hate every day like you do, and it's not going to make one bit of difference for you? I promise. These people, they're so stupid, so simple. You're just, you're easy to fucking fuck with, man. You're easy to fucking manipulate. You're easy to fool. And you're highly predictable. And I think it's funny. Look at them. Look how mad they are. Look at them. <laughs> oh, they're hilarious. Hey, like I said, man, I don't know what you're talking about because none of those are my goals. None of those are my goals. I don't ever rush to do anything. How would you tell me what my goals are? I know my goals. Those aren't it. None of that. Everything you're talking about is flabbergasting blasphemy. <laughs> Feel me? When what? What are you asking me? I'm not trying to get there. Do you understand that I have like almost 6,000 shares right now? I'm already set for the rest of my life. Now call the butthurt police, faggot. Oh, I got you and your feelings. Hey, what I'm going to be making is a lot more than anything you talk about. Astronomical. I could sit in jail and make this money. See, that's the part you don't listen to, man. Y'all so busy trying to stop people's blessings that all you do is bless me more. I was talking to Christina about it. I said, shit, with enemies like this, who need friends? Go ahead and help me some more. Because that's all you ever do. All you want to do is help me because I'm divinely protected. These spirits are who's orchestrating this, not you. There's nothing you can do from stopping me from getting to my fucking dreams. So when you say when, when, what? These are my goals, not yours. You can't set the goalpost or the time frame. There's no rush. What's the rush? rush. Why, thank you, Lunzi. To do what? See, that's your thing. You think getting somewhere will make you happy. It's the journey. I take the time in the journey. That's why, just like sex, I enjoy sex. I wait a lot. I take a long time to come. Why? Because that's where all the enjoyment is. Stupid fucks. Why y'all can't enjoy life? You miserable. Didn't y'all say you affected my life? When? You ain't never affected my life. Now try me. Because I guarantee you there's nothing you can do. I think he went screaming, but he certainly didn't go kicking. I, I don't think so, but God knows I could be wrong. We're talking about Tyree Sneed here. Can't find me. You don't know me. You'll never fucking see me. You can't ever attach no lies to me. You have nothing on me, and I beat you, motherfuckers. Send the readings, cocksucker. I beat a whole witch's coven. All you got is empty fucking talk that doesn't mean anything. Type it in a chat. Has nothing. It's completely irrelevant to me. Who cares? Talk about cities, states that I'm not even in. Who gives a shit? The fuck? And that may very well be it for his last stream. I have something else coming up about an hour and 20 minutes long, so it won't keep you from bed too much. Anyway, if anyone has the address to the jail in which he is being held, please distribute that. Send it to me at richbaritoneatmail.com or put it in the comments right now because he needs to be buried with like Christmas cards and congratulations on his baby. All right, I am going to see if this thing is over and turn this over into... Our next stream. Yes, I have more torture for all of us. Hang in there. It was indeed over, but we have the next one teed up and ready to go just for you. Here is... Don't act like you forgot about me. My scooter company coming right around the corner. Don't think that's what's going on here. No, sir, I don't. Here we go. 
me try to find the place where the fun starts. It's almost never at the beginning of the video, is it? Okay. Okay. He's Blade. We get it. Okay, let me go back a little bit. We don't want to miss any sneak goodness. Here we go. Round two. Yeah, I'm supposed to allow the video to play anyhow. What the fuck is up, people? How are all of you? No, I ain't been in jail, honey. But you have. I ain't been in jail. No, what I've been doing is killing the game, right? Building, traveling. Living a hell of a life, doing everything I want to do. That's what I've been doing. What I've been doing is kicking your fucking ass. That's what I've been doing. I've been literally kicking your fucking ass. And I'd like to know how you feel about that. How do you feel about getting your ass supremely handed to you, all of you deluded fucks? That information on your screen right now should be more than enough for any of us to send him some mail. I'm sure as hell doing it. I'm doing it in the morning. I haven't sent a card to somebody for a long, long time. It's going to be so much fun. How do you feel about that? Thanks, Dick Sucker. I appreciate it. Thank you, Captain Dick Sucker, Burger Boy. I appreciate it. You and your clan of fags and bitches are all Dick Suckers. I just want to let you know in case you forgot. See, narcs have amnesia every day. By the way, I'm starting a whole new channel that's going to be devoted to speaking on narcissism because that's all this is and that's all you bring. That's not game. Hating is not game. Let me explain something to you. You're looking at my album cover. That, ladies and gentlemen, on your screen is dedication. That's number one thing you should know. You see how fucking strong I look? Cashless Bane. Am I not built better than Bane? You see, I had an idea and a concept I built that nobody wanted to believe and everybody wanted to put me down. They all believed in me more than I did myself, but they didn't want to see me make it. it wasn't nobody happy for me. I'm going to tell you the one person who's different than all of you, Christina. I'm going to tell you why I am head over heels in love with Christina and why I chose her and why I want to be with her genuinely. I'm not on here trying to make anybody jealous. I know that there is a lot of bitches, okay, who... I have to do this. You can write Tyree Sneed at the Travis County Jail at 500 West 10th Street, Austin, Texas, 78701. That's 500 West 10th Street, Austin, Texas, 78701. Pride cards have been suggested, and I think it's a wonderful idea. They're probably really cheap right now. Wish they could get with me. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that my sex game is the pinnacle of heights. My dick is the biggest. It's all reality. It's not a delusion because if it was a delusion, then people who are real wouldn't be sane. See, Christina has credibility. Everybody knows she's a good person. Everybody loves Christina. I don't know what you were talking about, about saying that everybody loves people who I don't even know and don't do anything for me. I have a rule. If you want to bring up any any weird ass losers, Edward Hurley joins us this evening, and yes, it is true. He is in jail. It, it's a holiday. It's a holy day. Everybody here is high and or drunk, and we're loving it. Any fag, have them see me and face me and square up. That's my only rule. Did you ever do that, or were you protecting the bitch? You were protecting the bitch, right, like y'all do? Okay. When I was in there and when I was there, when I came into that shithole, every time I was there, I was never bothered. That's a that's a faggot. He has no self-worth. It's in the readings. I mean, to, to sit there and be with someone who wants to be with me, it's in the readings right now. He's worried as fuck, anxiety, stress, because the bitch has been nothing this entire time, but wanting, longing for me, yearning for me, wanting to be with me because she wants this huge cock. And I'm just being real with you. It's in the readings that you're sexually frustrated. It's in the readings that you've contracted an STD. 
it's in the readings that you're doing nothing but what narcs do going down the tubes. Okay. Now, Burger Boy, let me ask you something. Ed. If you want to come here and support, can you? Edward, that is, of course, the most important part. Not change your mind like a bitch and stick with it. Can you just support? Because I don't have anything against you. I don't have anything against anyone. I have no hate in my heart. I've been through hell. I'm going through hell. I'm fighting for my life actively. I'm going through shit y'all can never fathom. Okay. With the shit going on internally inside of me. I can end up dying because of this. And I'll be damned if I don't say my fucking piece first. You know what I mean? First of all, I've already set it off with everyone. That's the number one thing you should understand. I don't take shit. I don't tolerate disrespect. That's number one. I shit on people and I expend them and I keep it pushing and moving. And that's what I've been doing. Like, I'm not really an internet dude. Like, I'm a street nigga. So everybody who knows me knows how I get down and what I'm about. So my thing is, like, when I speak, it's power. Like, there's going to be bitches who want to hate on me. That That's not a big deal. What makes it a big deal is when you start lying and running your mouth. Like I said, we proved my cock is bigger than anybody's, but especially trash. Like, you downgrade. That's what you do because you're a narc, and you, you try to sit there and lie every time you speak your line. We just ain't playing that shit. We don't tolerate that. Like, the minute Christine, Christina is sleeping right now. The minute that Christina get on this thing because she's going to get on the thing, like Nutty like to say, she's going to get on the thing. He got another word for it. I forget what it's called. But like when they say on the jig and blah, blah, blah. Absolutely amazing. He sounds like he's there. Yeah, Christina's sleeping. All very, very nice tries. But anybody that heard that knew it was bullshit. Come the fuck on, dude. I don't have anything I'm worried about. I don't have anything that's like pressing me or pushing me. I don't have anyone I answer to. People have always tried to play victim with me and harass me and be snitches and, and do weirdo shit and try to reverse reality. I'm just not answering to that ever. I don't I don't go along with your testament. I mean, right now I logged into to my shit and the first comment is talking about like negativity that's not even in my life saying something about that I was in jail. I wasn't in jail. I've been good this entire time. I'm building. You feel me? So see what I'm saying? Like they don't know how to get at me, so they try to say stupid things. So they try to roll reverse and then they think it's going to get some kind of reaction. Like I said, man, I don't really care. I'm not here to talk to fake accounts. I'm here to talk to people who at least represent themselves. I give Burger Boy credit. At least he's representing himself. Um, but you got a lot to work on, man, as far as your character. Now, let me explain something to y'all, homie. First of all, Jared333 is, is a real artist with Cashless Pink. Jared333 and I are on good terms. You know what I mean? There's things that I disagree with that he does, but I, who am I to judge, man? He hustles and he does his thing a certain way, and I'm no one to judge that. And that's just the truth. You know what I mean? I'm just human, and I say the truth and how I feel. So got nothing but positivity to say about Jared. I actually have liked the, jet, the direction he's going in a lot of ways because he's, he's becoming very, he was becoming very positive. I really liked his videos. I like the religious type. Well, what do you know? It's Kenny Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Hi there, Kenny, and welcome to the show. It's Weed and Sneed right here on Negative 43. Watch. My whole thing is Jared's already sending me tracks. So what y'all don't understand is I'm about to cop the instrumental, purchase the instrumental beats, and I'm going to be releasing tracks with Jared. Okay? So it's like, how do I put it? Basically, Jared is about to be a big major artist with Cash's thing. Okay? Um, and I just want everybody to understand that we, we have opportunities open to people who aren't skeptics and aren't hating and really want to do real music. If any of you bums on YouTube knew how to rap, you'd sign with Cash for Pink. Like, I just copped the chain, homie. It's, um, it's a beautiful piece. I mean, beautiful. Um, I copped the whole piece and the chain. I bought it for like 165. I have a jewelry connect already. Um, so I'm going to be able to purchase a whole shitload of jewelry, as much jewelry as I want, and resell my jewelry. So I have a couple of businesses I'm starting. Um, while you were away, or while I was away, 
I've already become a business owner. I own my own business. Um, I'm making over 30 bucks an hour. There's nothing fake about this. I know that people are going to get triggered. This is a PSA public service announcement. Tyrese Sneed's making over 30 bucks an hour. Um, for real, for real. Arguably more than that. So I'm moving up in the world, man. I, you know, I, I don't have time for negativity. If people want to hate and make up lies on me, I can't control that. I'm comfortable with that. I'm not afraid of your threats of, of jail and blah, 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 like I'm a criminal. I, I'm not doing anything wrong, man. I'm standing up for myself and doing everything right. You feel me? So it is what it is, man. You can continue to project. I'm not going to respond to fake accounts. You're going to have to come up here and you're going to have to represent yourself. Other than that, I don't care what hiding bitches say. If you're behind a fake account, you're hiding. I'm right here. I'm not hiding from shit, clearly. But I know you mad. See what I'm saying? Your your game don't work with me, bro. I'm a grown ass man. If you have a problem with me, just face me and square up. We get down everywhere. Like I've, I've been getting down. I stay getting down and, and screaming on motherfuckers, and they don't do shit about it. I'm a real gangster. So, like I said, like I have a lot of power. Like if I want, if I wanted a bitch, I could get her. Whoever I want, I can get whatever I want. I can get anything I want to attain. I'm a straight fucking savage. Like, this ain't no P. Diddy fake shit. Like, I'm really a savage. That's the whole point. You know what I mean? The cartel ain't shit to me. I'm who took them on and bodied them and won. You feel me? So, remember that. Like, I'm I'm that dude. I'm really the one who's dangerous. I'm bigger than Frank Lucas on the street. I'm the most dangerous man walking the street. Um, like I said, all the crime scenes, we always hate with the cartel when they put him. And now he has every opportunity in the world to back his words up. Betty doesn't. Oh, Betty's already in protective custody, strapped to a gurney. Just my guess. It's on me. Everybody knows about it. So, like I said, my whole shit is real, man. People don't understand. Like, I move. I move a whole different way you could never figure out or understand a fathom, man. Everything that I ever seen. Burger Boy joins us all the way from Cyrax Corner. Sir, thank you very much for the share out. Super duper appreciate it. That I got, I got. Um, I got all the Batman shit coming. All that's coming. I've already got the Bat Cycle shit moving. Like, everything's coming, man. You're going to see me strap with a GoPro. You're going to see me riding around on a Bat Cycle. So, like, I'm not really concerned with what, you know, people... I know you people are confused. You don't know what's going on. Yeah. You're never going to know what's going on because I know how to keep you confused. I'm the one pulling your puppet strings. I'm the one. The games have just begun. I'm on here fucking with you now. You feel me? I'm having a blast doing it, too. You feel me? I'm free as a bird. I'm doing great. I don't have anything that I'm concerned about, especially with you people that I'm worried about. I'm straight. I, I stand on everything I do and say, and that's it. You know what I mean? So the threatening me ain't going to do nothing with me. Whatever you want to do, do with me, and that's it. And you're going to see that we don't play over here. We don't put up with delusion, and there's nothing you can do to me. So... Like I said, like nothing's gonna stop me, man. The the whole point of this war is that it's not over when people try to fuck with you and harass you. It's over when the fuck I say it's over. It's over when you stop trying something I'll never do. You feel me? So that's the major thing. Um, so I'm releasing a lot of music now. You see, I got new tracks and shit for y'all. They're the hottest shit ever. Um, my singing is on point. The rapping on point. Like I'm hotter than I've ever been right now. Um, I'm communicating with a lot of people, meeting a lot of people talking to a lot of people, getting everything going with my music promotions, finally. Um, everything is hitting the fan right now, man, so people are going to be mad. They're going to be angry. Ain't nothing fake about me, man. Like I said, like, you're going to come across a narc bitch every now and then that's going to hate. I, I want to know why y'all act like this bitch need a cookie or a medal of honor. I mean, you didn't do anything but fail. You know? I tried to help you. I did everything to, to pry you up and, and push you up, and, and you're wrong. And, you know, despite everything you've done, I still don't have anything against you. Still don't have any hate in my heart. And um, I just know that you owe me a real apology and an apology won't make up for it. It's too late for that. There's nothing that I'm going to talk to you about. Yo, Christina, an apology. Yo, my fans, an apology. You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, I have to do this. It's 11 o'clock and you are watching Negative 43 KUNT TV Sneedville Purgatory. Do you know where Tyree Sneed is? I certainly do.
talking because I won't even hear you out um, because you silenced me and wouldn't let me talk. And I'm a grown man and, and you're supposed to be a grown woman. I mean, you're fucking 50 years old. I don't know you. I don't fuck with you. I was never with you. You're a stranger who just gets on my YouTube channel and acts and, and keeps telling me you're going to do shit that you don't do. And you don't deliver on anything. You know, you're miserable. You with a limp dick, sack of shit, piece of shit with nothing. You live in a shithole. And you try to proclaim poverty and failure like it's strength. We don't reward weakness, bro. We reward strength. We don't reward narc perception. I mean, you're drinking right now because you upset. You're not happy where you at. And that's fine. You was happy with me. Everybody knows that you chose to not be happy. Narcs do that, man. But you just got to understand something, man. When you are willing to take it as far as you have and when you give your body to other individuals and trash much less like people who want to be an enemy and aren't equate when you do that that's sick and the crazy part is that that's not even what happened what actually happened is the bitch was cheating with me on them because she's married and i asked a million times all these questions and she kept lying it would seem to me and I, i've only been following him for four and a half years that this, certainly the biggest day in Sneedville since I've been around, RTF, some of the other real OGs may know of another instance, but for me personally, this is by far the biggest day in the history of Sneedville. So much fun. And the best part of it is I'm hanging out with a bunch of my friends and I'm stoned off my ass and we're watching some comedy. That's a, that's a, Pretty good combination for a Labor Day weekend. So it's like, you wanted some good dick, so you came to me. Okay, big deal. Do you want a cookie? It really ain't a big deal. Um, I think that people just have an overblown ego and they want to be something that they're not. You know? So moving on, because that's irrelevant and all those people are relevant. It's just the facts of the facts, man. Like you, you got an STD, you developed a heart condition, you developed cancer again, you're miserable. So you're going to go on YouTube and make your gay ass videos in your shithole and try to paint like you happy or whatever. And, and you know what I mean? Or doing better. And, and it's crazy because the bitch can't even do that. <laughs> like you a shitty narc. You know, you can't even make shit look good. And I don't watch none of your shit. Cause I'm not interested. I don't care. I don't care about fake people, bro. I, I'm real as fuck. Like I'm the street. I, I don't care what fake people do and say. I honestly don't. Christina makes me genuinely happy. I've never met somebody like this. I've never felt this way about anybody. Um, other than that, I mean, people had their chance, man. They wanted to fuck it up and play games with it. That's cool. You dropped the ball. I mean, somebody else picked it up. You know, your trash is somebody else's treasure. And that's all I can tell you, you know? So like I said, I mean, quit, Quit giving bitches, you know, they validate. Thank you very much, Edward. As somebody who would have loved to have been on the radio, just the idea of anybody listening to this in their car right now, that that makes me even happier than I already was. And I'm I'm pretty ecstatic this evening. It's just such a great evening. Validation on here, because that's the only reason she around any y'all is for validation. That's the whole point. The, the, the whole dick shit and the sex shit was with me. The validation is coming from y'all. She get validation from hanging out with that trash. That's the only reason she even talked to you because she's so weak. She needs validation. I swear to God, if you quit validating this bitch and quit telling her what she want to hear, because all y'all some simp ass chumps and bruises. I mean, come on, bro. How was tasting my semen? Because like you tried to project that, but that's what you did. You tasted my semen. Like you literally was kissing a bitch who was sucking my dick. That's what happened. I wasn't doing shit. I never got cheated on, nothing. I cheated on that bitch. I played her. Like, I got the best of you completely. And that's just what happened. And I think it's crazy that people try to rewrite it and care so much about the internet. And, you know, the bitch is dying right now wanting clout. No, Edward, I, I never went into radio. I, I got a job in a glass factory that I stayed at for 24 years. Radio is a really, really cutthroat business and until you hit a certain level there's there's no stability in it um guys that have been in the radio 15 20 years have told me a couple of times that you really don't consider yourself to be in the radio business until you've either been fired or reformatted five or six times so no never been on the radio drove a forklift 
she's literally like dying for clout. Like she's with someone she has no interest in and wanting to be with me. And he's seeing that. Like he's having to punish her for watching me. She can't get over me. Like that's crazy, man. That's the same shit Ashes did. Like, okay. Okay, bitch, do what you do. You just got to understand what I'm saying. When you take it that far and you start resorting to using your pussy because you're such a worthless sack of shit, section eight broke bitch with nothing and nothing to offer that that's the only weapon and you view that as a weapon. When you start doing that, that's crazy. Like when you start trying to really hurt someone because you can't even have sex with this, this motherfucker. He's so old, it's not possible. When you start doing that, that's a whole nother ball game, bro. You know that. You know what I mean? There's no way for us to ever speak again because you took it there. You know what I mean? And then you tried to lie on me and, and, and attack my manhood. That's crazy because you was all over my manhood. I mean, Christina will tell you, bro. Christina sees my dick all the time. She's going to tell you, like, it's a monster cock. It's huge. What are you talking about? She's going to put you in your place live and direct to your face. If you had any truth you were standing on, you wouldn't be a pussy. You would back that shit up. You welcome on the panel anytime. You bet, Lunzi. Driving a forklift is a very, very good way to make a living until it isn't a very good way to make a living. If you do it long term, I have always said that the forklift will always win in the end. No springs, no suspension, 100% shock right up your back. And eventually it, it kicked my ass, but so much for the story of my life. Tom, you're welcome to see anyone face to face y'all talk to me fake i don't know what you're talking about y'all keep harassing me she's the one who keeps trying to contact me and i've asked over and over to quit contacting me i don't talk to any of you i don't know any of you i don't fuck with you um you're strangers online who tell you what edward let me know before you pick up your next fair and i'll really really lay the dj thing on like i said earlier the higher i get the more he it seems it's easy to talk like this. You harass me, and I have every right to defend my life, and I'm not fucking with you. I just want you to leave me alone and quit coming to my show. So, like I said, I mean, that matter's been solved. That's in the past. We're moving forward. I'm a business owner, man. We're celebrating. On the bigger, better things. So, Christina's been a great woman for you, always loyal, and that's most important. Right. I will stay in full support, sir. You convinced me with your dedication and hard work. Thank you. I appreciate that. For real. What convinced me you were cool was the insane people that try to troll you a bunch of weirdos calling you for years is just creepy. Well, yeah, but you kind of hang around with them. So that's my question. Why do you hang out with people if you don't like them? Because she do the same shit. As a matter of fact, all y'all do the same. None of you actually like each other. That's what's so crazy. You all hate each other. You just hate me so much that you get together and say, we're going to slander and smear him and run his name into the ground. You're, you're playing with my name, and no one, nobody knows you. I mean, you're not a magazine. The public doesn't agree with you, so, I mean, you can pipe that shit all day. It's just all right, by request. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rich Baritone. You're watching Negative 43 KUNT-TV. And right now, we are watching Tyree Sneed's Next to Last. Yes, that's right his next to last live stream on YouTube, and it's called Don't Act Like You Forgot About Me, My Scooter Company Coming Right Around the Corner. Yes, that's right, kids. It's Don't Act Like You Forgot About Me, My Scooter Company Coming Right Around the Corner. It's on negative 43, and it's just, that's right, it's just for you. It's hot shit. I don't give a fuck. I think it's funny. All right. Now, let me try to catch up here because I think I'm way behind. We got people mad. They are pissed. <laughs> they are pissed. Look, they projecting. That's what I said to, to, to that bitch. I said, why don't you have nothing? If you're selfish, why don't you have nothing? It's the truth. It's just the truth. You know what I mean? Thank you. It is interesting. It's just the truth. You you have nothing. For somebody who's selfish, you, you live on Section 8. You're a bum. You don't have a vehicle. And not a real vehicle. I'm, I'm about to open up a whole new car lot. I'm about to start a whole new fucking storage unit on top of what I already own. I'm making over 30 bucks an hour, homie. I'm actually getting paid today. Narcs like you, I left in the dust. I don't even fuck with them. You understand that? I moved on to bigger, better things, man. 
You know what I mean? I'm in a different. Another pointless personal story. I used to have a scooter. What I had was a Yamaha 500. Biggest engine they put on a scooter. A scooter that I, one time, and I only did it one time, I got a scooter up to 103 miles an hour. The death chatter was definitely there. I got out of the throttle really quickly, but I had a scooter, and it wasn't the kind that you push with your fucking foot. But I digress. Different place. Number one. Number two, I'm in a different place in life and I'm comfortable. So like I said, I mean, it's it's never nothing no more. Like I would never let anybody hold me back. Like whatever I got coming for me, I want full speed. Like because I'm righteous and you can't conquer a righteous mind with lies and attacks. Like suck a dick. You mad at me because I'm succeeding? I mean, all I see is success across the board. I want you to acknowledge that shit. That's what I want. Not for validation, just because it's reality. You have an obligation to, just like you had an obligation to do right by me and you didn't. Just like you had an obligation to not lie and say things that are crazy and then you come up with fuck off in drugs and realize what the fuck you said. It's like Tupac said, everybody want to fuck around and forget. Yeah, so I'll, I'll end that story by saying... No, it's not designed to go 103 miles an hour. It's like the scooter was talking to me. And it was saying, stop this or die. I stopped it. What they said now. No. I don't forget. You know what I mean? You clearly have an issue. I mean, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I don't ever, ever... Like, I'm not on the shit show on. Like, I don't condone violence. You know what I mean? I'm, I think that my people invented violence, and I'm trying to get away from it. You know what I mean? Um, because all my street shit, I mean, that all happens behind closed doors. That ain't for the internet. You know what I mean? All the real shit happened off camera, homie. I've been, been fucking people up, touching fools. It ain't nothing. My whole deal is, like, I'm the organization. Like, I'm the actual mob. So it's a little different when you talk to me because you have to show me respect. Like, I have the option to get at anyone I want. I have the option to fuck up anybody. You know what I mean? You don't want me on your ass, I promise, anybody. So my whole thing is, like I said, like, I hold a lot of power and I understand that and I wield that sword right. Like, I rule with an iron fist and I, I have to. I have to be responsible. Appreciate it, man. I'm right here. So... Number one, I'm going to offer the same deal to Nutfuck. Nutfuck, do you want a record deal? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm happy for you, man. I'm glad that you're trying to get the business going. I'm not even going to put you down on it no more because I was never trying to put you down. I just think it's unfair that you hate. And um, I just say the reality, and I know you can't handle it, you know, but you, you, you just you honestly, tangibly have not accomplished anything yet. I'd be more than willing to give you your credit. When you start selling scooters and mass supply, I wouldn't have any issue giving you credit for that. But you got to actually do it first. And right now you have it. Right now you're still at the development stages of a business that's non-existent. Okay. You always hated on me. I never hated on you, sir. I wish you the best. I hope that you do well in life. Um, and all I wanted to do was be a friend to you and, 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 and help you succeed. Uh, I was a good dude to everybody. I was a good dude to that bitch. And I think it's sad that y'all support a tragedy that somebody can be so hateful and spiteful and just wrong towards me when I, I took care of him after a surgery that was like a big deal. Um, you know, I, I, I literally sat there and, and filled your, your syringes, you know, like that, that's crazy, man. That's, that's crazy that I took care of you like that and you're this disgusting. But like I said, man, you can keep living wrong. I'd rather be a good person and, and continue to help people as much as I can as long as I'm here. Because like I said, when I'm going through, I might end up dying and y'all going to think it's a game until you hear like Tyree Sneed, like he ended up dying. And then y'all going to understand it was never a game. Like what I'm going through is crazy. Man. And there's nothing I can do. I'm doing everything I can, you know, physically for myself. But um that's why I want to say my piece at least so I just want to say it's still all love man you know what I mean despite you know how much hate because none of you know how much hate I went through you know I don't have anything against anyone uh, you know and 
Yeah, I have to admit that I, I just love the hell out of that scooter. It would sit at 75 miles an hour on the freeway all day long. And the looks that I would get from people when they realized it wasn't a motorcycle, that alone was worth it. I eventually got rid of it. I was tired of paying for it. And I could just see, like, bad things happening. It just a vibe. So it, it was best that it went. But for those two years, oh, that was a hell of a time. Back to what we're here for. Pardon me. I'm high including you and i'm sorry that you want to choose to live a lie and live your life like this um but i just I, I think it's sad that you don't do the right thing ever and i'm just not waiting on you to do the right thing you know what i mean like i got my closure I, I don't believe in you i don't want anything from you i don't expect anything from you i, I have no faith in you whatsoever you feel me so it's like they're so mad at reality. Like when they try to comment like this, it makes me smile because I know they talking about me. Like I have the seed of God. Like that's some real shit. Like I'm literally the sex God. And I, I'm, I appreciate that you say that. It doesn't hurt me. It, it actually makes me feel amazing. Um, so like I said, I'm um, just everything, man. I've been really busy, bro. If you want me to be honest, man, I'm, I'm honestly just pushing really hard. Like I said, I'm making over like 30 bucks an hour now. I'm um, putting myself in a whole different position in a different spot, different place. I'm comfortable. I'm living good. I'm doing well. Um, everything is on a level that y'all could never fathom. I mean, I'm a billionaire for one, like tangibly. I'm actually a billionaire right now. I have been for, for a while. So it's just crazy, man. Like I said, I, I'm a business owner now. I've been a business owner, but I mean like legit business. I have my own business that I'm making that kind of money with. Um, it's exciting, man. It's it's exciting to be finally getting the opportunity I deserve, you know. So other than that, I mean, Cash is Bane is on top of the game. Like I said, I just bought like a hundred and sixty-five dollar chain and medallion piece. I got a jewelry connect. I'm getting everything like half price. Um, cheap as fuck, so I'm gonna be able to buy and sell jewelry. So that right there is a whole nother. That's a whole jewelry business. Um, just nobody can move like me, man. I can understand why a slouch sack of shit with a limp dick and a small Peter. Yeah, you're a billionaire, and I'm a multimedia conglomerate megalord. Yeah, we're we got it pretty good, RTS. Yes, we do. Would be jealous of me because everybody knows can't nobody fuck with me in the bedroom. And, and nobody can fuck with me from what comes from my heart and the love that I have to offer, you know, and the passion I have and charisma. So it's like there was never any competition, and we already proved that. So I don't know what you could say. I mean, you're going to keep coming in the chat and just repeating yourself and just thinking you're going to bother me. Like I said, man, if, if you want to say somebody's name, have them face me and throw hands. It's cowards, man. You fuck with cowards. All y'all are fucking cowards. I told that bitch to her face, y'all are some cowards. You had your chance. I said, I'm right here. What's up? Oh, y'all some cowards, man. You hate me. You bitch want to hate? Cool. I don't care. I don't feel no type of way, man. I, I like, you have to understand, like, I'm being real with y'all. I know narcissist game. I studied it for fucking over 20 years, basically. And I, I've been through more of them than anyone. Like, most people die after the first one. I've been through, like, 30 of them. So my whole deal is like this. Like, the narcissist wants you to hurt and they want you to go through mental anguish. I'm not. My only thing is that I was, I was upset at what you did and what you said like any human being would be i mean who wouldn't I mean, you know you, you're the one who said that you wanted everything and, and you, you wanted me and then you just went and did some rogue shit because you're upset that i'm doing well and, or was doing well because i'm doing way better now <laughs> bitch choke on that and die so like i said i mean you know people hate man people talk people do what they do but like for me like I'm in a real position now. Like, I'm a real established artist. Like, I'm worldwide independently. My website's going to be back out soon, right around the corner. I'm in no hurry. TyreeSneed.com is. Irish Joe, everybody, say hello. Worldwide. They mad at me for having my domain back. They mad at me for every. I have everything in line, man. I'm about to have the full Batman movie coming for y'all. I'm about to be riding around in a bat scooter literally with the GoPro attached to me. So it's like everything they talk about is it's not, it doesn't add up because it's not real. <laughs> like it doesn't exist. 
So, like I said, like trying to come against reality with like delusion is, is, is never going to work. It's just not hidden. Like I'm an angel. Like you can't block my aura. You can't stop my shine. And I'm going to play the two songs for you that I have coming out. They're releasing all digital retailers. I actually just got the word and memo. So all my music is coming. I think it's dropping late September. I chose the release date and, and early October. So I'm an established worldwide musician. Um, still topping charts on Reverb Nation. I'm not anywhere near where I was for some reason, I guess, because I don't upload music. But I'll put some new songs. I'm not worried about that. My point is just that, you know, I damn near reached number one in the world. And I was under the top thousand in the world of nation. And that's all I wanted, you know, because your, your ranking is going to change all the time. It, it really don't mean shit. It, it ain't accurate at all. My whole deal is like this. I'm doing everything I want to do, man. I'm living the life I want to live. You know what I mean? Like I said, man, it takes sacrifice to get somewhere. It takes sacrifice to get anything of value. I'm going to tell you all something right now from my heart and for you to hear. Like, I genuinely am in love with Christina. She is everything that you will never be. She is the most innocent thing I have ever seen in my life, and I think that it's beautiful. And it makes me want to cry. I don't know how else to explain it to you. I've never seen someone this beautiful inside and out. And um, that's, that's a big deal to me. So I genuinely am in love with Christina. Um, I don't love you. Um, I don't hate you. You just don't exist to me. Because you're an old clown. Um, you're Ronald McDonald. And... We ain't going to give you no attention. We just don't make fun of you like the clown you is. And we don't have a blast doing it because you're a clown. I mean, what you did was clown shit. I mean, you downgraded and ran face first into Lint Dick, and you don't even fuck. You have no sex. You're, you're sexually frustrated. It's in the reading. So why don't y'all talk about reality because reality hurts them. They don't want to talk about how I'm winning. I mean, like I said, you was talking about that I was making 15 an hour or whatever. 13 and 15, whatever. Well, I'm making over 30 bucks an hour now, so what do you have to say to that? Are you going to talk down on that too? Yeah, because you want to talk down on everything. You want to invalidate a motherfucker. It's not possible. You would kill. Speaking of Ronald McDonald, I just found out last week that McDonald's phased Ronald McDonald out in 2016. I had no clue. It, it's like finding out something died and you just didn't know about it. But yeah, damn, maybe I should pay more attention to popular culture. Kill and do anything to make over 30 bucks an hour. This is not fake. This is all happening. I'm getting paid today, bro. I'm already getting money from this shit. This is my new business. It's 100% legit. Do you understand? the kind of money I'm about to make and there's nothing you can do about it that's the best part like you can't stop me and the greatest part is like the gifts are inside of me can't nobody and nothing stop me period I'm always making that's what they don't get I ain't holding on to nothing so like I said the only people hiding is you alright let me catch up here so this is all legit statistics real shit so, like I said, let them be mad. Yes, yes, project. I love it. I love it. You do need to grow up. You do need to grow up because y'all is miserable stuck watching me and I left you the fuck behind in the dust because you're trash. You're trash. The bitch is going to come groveling back like she's already doing. It's all in the readings. You're already groveling. She's coming back with her tail between her legs. What did I tell you? That's exactly what I told you, is it not? I literally said, you're going to come back begging like the dog you are. Beg, bitch. Eat off the floor. You understand? If I ever saw you, I'd throw food on the floor and say, eat it, dog. Eat it like the fucking dog you are. Just like in that movie, Four Brothers. I'd do you like that. Eat. Eat, pig. You fuck with a gangster and a mobster. Are you out of your mind? Yeah. Do you really think that I'm seeking any kind of revenge? I got my revenge. Christina's my revenge. Success is my revenge. Being happy is my revenge. Moving the fuck on, which I always did immediately, is my revenge. I'm not who's mad. 
I'm not who's harassing anyone. I don't harass people. I don't even bother to talk to none of you. You all are harassing me. And I put it to an end. You're powerless. How does it feel? How does it feel to sit in the chat room and project while I'm free living life? This is my album cover for my singles and my album. You're going to see this picture all over the place. There's nothing you can do about it. Hey, all artists face a lot of contention, man. They face a lot of drama. They face adversity. You know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing, bro. Like, I'm supposed to be a gangster. That's what y'all not understanding. Like, I can't be half my cap hit, man. I'm supposed to be hard body. Like, look at my body in this picture, bro. So the question becomes, is he already in protective custody? I believe it's 1026 in the evening in Texas, where he is right now. Is he already in protective custody? My guess is yes. They'll never put him out there because he'll D.I.E really think that anybody fucking with me strength wise do you really think that i couldn't beat the shit out of bruce lee in his prime come on homie. i'm something greater man something greater using hater eat you like a now and later <laughs> i'm happy bro that's why they so fucking mad because they miss a pull. i'm not having to drink wine you know what i mean with crumpets and tea I'm not having to sit there with someone I'm miserable with and worry about another person that I really want to be with. I don't have to do that. I'm with who I want to be with. She's young. She's beautiful. Tight pussy. Fucking just beautiful inside and out, man. I don't even like talking like that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to stop doing that because that's not even me. And I'm sorry, but that's just because these people bring that shit out of me. I'm going to be myself. Like, I'm a good person. I'm nothing like y'all. And Christina is the first time in a long time that I've even, I'm learning how to feel again because I've been through so much trauma and I've been hurt so bad by the world in my life. Like I lost everybody. Nobody on here talks about that. Like I lost my father to a car crash. You think I don't feel or hurt over that? You know what I'm saying? That's why I want to get away from people who won't let me feel like it's okay for me to cry. It's okay for me to feel. It's okay for me to be a human now. Like I was a gangster long enough in a, in a machine. I deserve to feel. You know, and I just think it's sad when people who you did right and, and all you wanted was them to be happy and you gave them that, that they choose to be miserable and intentionally just want you to suffer and hurt you. And I think it's sad that they can't see like, hey, you know, I'm wrong and I own up and you're right. I did all this shit intentionally. That's all I really wanted to hear. I don't expect to. You know what I mean? I just wanted to hear, like, yeah, you're right. I was hating on you, and I did all this to spite you because I'm, I'm fucking jealous as can be. Because you and I both know that's the truth, because you basically said it already before, but that's all I wanted to hear. Was like, yeah, the truth is, you got the biggest dick. You, you're the best man. You even said that yourself. You said you're the best man. Well, then why do you, why is it not an option to just do the right thing? Why does it have to be you have to fuck up? See, that's the cycle you need to break, and that's something personal within you that you're going to have to find and figure out. I, I gave you every tool to, to find that path and go the right way. You know what I mean? So, like I said, I wish you the best, and I hope that, uh, I hope you find yourself, man. You know what I mean? Um, I just think it's sad that the world is filled with people like you, you know, we mourn people after they're gone. And like I said, I'm going through something I can die from. I think it's sad that you don't, you know, reach out and say, Hey, you know, I do care. And, and, and I, I do love you if that's how you feel. Cause the readings all saying you do. And I just think it's sad that you can't say, you know, I, I truly do love you. And this is how I really feel. And I just want you to be happy. And, um, I'm going to quit doing things to spite you while I'm saying this. Because that's the thing. Your actions don't match up with your words. You, you're still around sacks of shit who, again, don't deserve you. So that's a matter of self-value and self-worth. You keep bragging about how you have none like it's cool. I think you look whack as fuck. So does everybody else. Name one real person on this network or in real life that fuck with you or think you cool for what you did to me. I don't know anyone. I know a lot of people that hate you. You know what I mean? So you're in hiding. So like I said, that's all. I just think it's sad that you don't own up and say, hey, you know what? That's true. I All this I did intentionally. You got the bigger dick. You're, you're not the better man. You're the only man. And I literally will just fuck with anybody because I'm mad at you. 
And why am I mad? I'm mad because you're successful and I, I don't believe in myself and I feel like I never will be. And uh, you're everything that I want to be. And instead of being with you, I'd rather hate on you because I want to be you. You know, you look. Yeah, John, it, it truly is amazing. It, it's a great point. He's like a master blues musician that knows the uh, the minor pentatonic, the major pentatonic, and the blues scale. And with those three scales, he can weave endless, intricate lines. With those three scales, he can be endless. And Tyree's kind of that way with his delusion. He cuts and pastes them, and they're they're the same, yet they're somehow different. You've heard it before, but maybe you've never heard those notes in that sequence. And we go on. Admire me. I mean, like like a child admires their father, and that's the truth. So, you know, just make just make sure that whoever you you claim to be with, because you're not with anyone, because Marks can't have a relationship, and they're not, it's not possible to be with anyone because of dysfunction. Um, just make sure you let them know that, because they listen. So, not not. Hey, buddy, um, she don't like you. She never did. She cheated on you the entire time. Like, I'm talking of like more sex than fucking rabbits have. Um, you're the one who got cheated on. I never did. I know reality. That's why I, that's why I was like upset and distraught. Cause I'm like, wait, how did all that happen when I was fucking seeing everything? I monitored like everything. What, what the fuck? Never happened. But these people were upset because I came in with my big fucking swinging anvil dick and knock down the building. That's what happened. I, I walked into my life, your life with my dick and it fucked everything up and shook everything up and people were jealous of me and didn't want to see that because they just don't want to see me win. Just like right now, that motherfucker don't care about you. He hates you. He only trying to keep you around because he don't want you to pursue me and guess what, buddy? It ain't, it ain't going to matter. That bitch is going to come running because bitches love big dicks. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. They love monster dogs. And I have... Why does everything get back to his dick? It's something I've wondered about, but not too damn much. But really, what what is it with his penis delusion? I'm blessed. I'm very well endowed. So it's going to be what it is, man. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, women like beauty and, and a man who's handsome, and I'm all the above and the most handsome. So like I said, it's never going to change. I'm a superstar. So, like I said, you just have to understand there's nothing you can get out of me and nothing I can do for you ever. Because, number one, I don't want you. I want Christina. And number two, and that's the thing, like, she's so weird and shifty. Like, if I said, like, if she felt there was an inkling, like, she would change her actions. But because I'm telling her that, hey, do what you do, man. Cheat. Keep doing what you're doing. Be a pig, swim and filth. But you're not going to fix your life for yourself. And that's your problem now. It's not mine. I cut off all attachments, soul contract terminated. I'm completely, my energy is completely removed from you. I want nothing to do with you, ever. You caused that. You could have just done what you were told. You could have done the right thing, right? That was an option, just like I tell people. I told you like I tell every bitch. It's an option to not hate on me. You don't have to disrespect me. You weren't put here to disrespect me, so why are you? And I can't ever get an answer. Because that's not the way the world works. Like, women don't disrespect me. Not real women. They don't want to. They they love me, honestly. I was made for you. I was literally created for you and, and, and you to be happy and, and was made for you and your pleasure, literally. So, I don't understand. That's why I'm so distraught because because I don't get it. I don't understand why women think they're women but you're not being a woman you know that's not women that's narcissism that's a whole different ball game these are, these are bitches not women they're bitches who are unhappy with their life and they taking it out on me i mean you're the one stuck in an unhappy marriage just like the whole gang you fuck with i mean you choose to be miserable why are y'all mad at me i tried to take you out of that man i try i gave you an offer you happiness y'all didn't want it you wanted to make fun of success and handsomeness and beautifulness but then you wanted to have your cake and eat it too and suck on this dick while you hating on it how that makes sense that's some very insecure shit man that's some very ego driven fake based shit so like i said i don't it's like when nutty tried to twist it and be like well yeah you got played 
See, that's the thing that's wrong. That's the only thing that's wrong in the readings. I never got played. You played yourself. I can't be played. I'm from the hood, homie. I, I, I've had so much history in the hood. How do you think I could be played? If I, if I could get played, I wouldn't be here. I would have been smoked a long time ago. You know what I mean? I fuck around in the street for real. I'm a street nigga. How, how would I make it this far? I would have been done, set up, and smoked. That's how it happens in the hood every day. So you got to understand, man, I'm, I'm not fake. Like, I'm not bringing some fake, like, surface-level shit. I'm bringing people real shit, like, from my spirit. So, like I said, man, I just think it's sad that, you know, something could really happen to me because of what I'm going through, and, and you just don't care when deep inside you really do. You like those people who, when people pass, y'all show up to the funeral and cry your eyes out. But you treated him like shit when he went. South Sider is here this evening. Say hello, everybody. He was alive. You feel me? Sorry, buddy. That shit don't work with me, man. You, we've already addressed everything all your lives like years ago. Or are you still trying to bring up shit? Like, they trying to repeat cycles, man. That's what I'm saying. See, that's how you know they're not, they're not happy. Right there. That's how you know that they didn't win nothing. I'm not on here trying to hurt and destroy people, but you damn sure didn't destroy me. You helped me. Destroy? I'm making over 30 bucks an hour in prime time. I'm doing very well, man. I, I went through something that no human being could survive, and I'm still standing and talking. That proves I'm the strongest thing ever. That's all I had to do. I didn't have to prove anything. I proved it to myself. Proved it to the world. Like I said, that's what y'all do. Y'all try to talk in, in forms that don't exist. That doesn't do shit for me, man. If you was winning, you wouldn't have to do that. You wouldn't even be over here. You wouldn't care what I had to say. But you're still worried, still watching. Hey, like I said, buddy, get to worrying, man, because that bitch is going to come running, I promise you, because I'm going to tell you something, man. All bitches cater to money, homie. Do you understand how much money I'm about to make? Do you understand the level I'm on already? Do you understand I'm bigger than Frank Lucas right now? Do you have any idea the kind of power I hold? You understand? I own everybody, homie. I own all of you, for real, bro. You understand? The kind of money I'm making up for is on a whole different level, man. All right, I'm going to try to explain something while higher than hell. RTS, I have an idea. I am looking for a Dick Tracy movie from the early 1940s. Most of them are in the public domain. And I want you to play the bad guy as a full, the full-blown RTS. Just absolutely over-the-top, real Tyree Sneed character. But everybody you're going to react to is going to react to you like it's still 1942. You know, I'm going to call the character Ty Lee Reed. I, I have no idea how we could possibly do this, but that would be great. Okay. Boy, I hope I remember saying that tomorrow. I've always made money like that. Like, what? I don't understand what you're saying. Like I said, I got real power, homie. You got to understand something, bro. I ain't looking for no harem garage of whores. And especially bitches who want to hate on me. I'm looking for love, and I found it. Um, I've already asked Christina to marry me, is what y'all don't know. She said yes. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. She really did. So we get married. Uh, that's number one. That's how real this shit is and how much of a spark and real true love there is. And I know you're going to be distraught. I'm going to tell you something. Go take your medication. Go drink your wine. Right? And I don't care if they don't mix right or whatever. Go do what you do and what you should do. And do the world a favor. And then go see a mental health counselor. All right, we may have us a deal here. What I'm going to do, RTS, I will find the movie that I want to overdub, and I will send you a link to that movie. Just look at the villain character, you know, get the mannerisms down, see what maybe you can do with it, and then I'll send you the straight lines, scene by scene, and then you can just respond to the straight lines. Something like that. And then I can adjust when I get the script back. And, well, I think we can make it work. I'll shut up. Because you don't make any fucking sense. And you ain't won nothing. Now, if you feel that you have something to say, right? 
Come on the panel and say it. Look how mad they are. That's what they do. They they try to go. Oh yeah, you you were successful. Because <laughs> they can't handle it. They can't handle this making over thirty bucks an hour. Shit, it might be over forty. You dumb fuck. That's how stupid you are. <laughs> That, that that's supposed to hurt my feelings that, that I'm going to fake talk to him because I'm, well, yeah, that shows me you upset. you mad at them over 30 bucks an hour. Hey, I make more money than your whole family, bitch. Combined. Oh? Yeah. T- tell me about, oh, you can't afford a lawyer now. No, I just don't need one. For what? I don't need one. I handle all y'all shit. I follow you. I follow everybody. Like I said, I got money owed to me right now. Number one, I already got money owed to me. Then I'm getting paid today on top of that. Do you notice how when I talk, everything is in synchronization? You see how I said that, and then you get, like, the the gunshot going off? This is not my plan, man. This is God's plan. Fuck that. It ain't God's plan. It's my creator's plan, because, again, my creator is love. And I explained that to Christina, and she understands I'm not against who's good. I'm against evil. And I'm going to say this for the last time, man. Your God is a fucking liar. The devil is the king of all lies. Listen to my words. This is mathematical facts. Y'all don't know knowledge. The knowledge is in the hood. They got y'all scared of the hood, so you can't learn the knowledge. They got y'all scared of real life. It's just like when I turn up, that's what I'm trying to teach Christina. Like, my anger is beautiful. Everything I'm on is beautiful. You just got to learn how to embrace it and see that this is not against me. This is not to hurt me. This is to protect me. I learned all this to protect you, Christina. I learned all this to take care of you and love you. That's all I ever wanted to do my entire life. Ever since I was I was little, I, I was already training to take care of whatever girl I ended up with, if y'all want me to be honest. And it might sound corny, but it's the truth. You know what I mean? I just, I have a lot of love to offer and, and, you know, I tried and I'm sad that I had to be with other people along the way, but I had lessons to learn and I think that, I think that that's, you know, what that other bitch is going through. I just think that she'll never learn because it's too late and narcs don't learn, they just keep repeating. You know, you're too old, you're ugly, nobody's going to fuck with you, you're just going to be miserable, man, you already are. Um, it also said that she's lashing out at this lane because she wants to be with me. I mean, like it, it said, like, imagine the anxiety. Like, how can you be with somebody who wants somebody else? Like, that's a self or self value issue. It said it just like that. So that dude, the, the people she fucked with, like I said, they just, yes, man. They just telling her what she want to hear. So she, I saw it in that one video a long time ago because she said something and he just like nodded his head. I was like, oh, okay, that's what this is. Like, this bitch so weak, she got to get yes men around just to be like, well, yeah, you know, this and that. Because she spoke differently. Like, she didn't talk the way she talked to me. She got to be a fake-ass smiling bitch, a little soft pussy cunt. But then she get around these fake fucks and she start talking different. Like, yeah, you believe my delusion, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Jenny. Jenny Ferritu is what Christina calls her. (laughs) Yeah, Jenny, I believe you. It's not like you're getting no sex out of shit. You got a limp dick. What are you talking about? What the fuck? These people are hilarious, man. Straight fucking hilarious, bro. Ass clown. They mad as hell at Tyree. See, they mad at your boy. They mad at this huge cock. I mean, like I said, if, if I didn't have a huge dick and it wasn't the biggest, why did you keep sucking? Oh, my God. It, we've all heard it before. There's there's a lot that could be said and a lot that doesn't bother to be said. Uh, just really the classlessness just jumps right the hell out at you, doesn't it? I mean, just absolutely classless. I could not imagine talking about my crank as much as he talks about his uh, just why would it even come up? He's such a fucking creep. Why did you keep fucking? Why did you keep running to me when you were married? Why did you come cheat with me in the first place? Why did you send me across the country to you if you didn't need a bigger dick? Come on, bro. Make it make sense what y'all saying. You.
All right. I think we're getting relatively close here. Let me go find out. Tell people the truth of what happened. You wanted this big dick. You, you, you got it. And then you couldn't handle it. Bust it wide open like a watermelon. What the fuck you mean? You're weak. At the end of the day, you weak and I'm not. I don't care about your snitch system. I don't care about you. All I know is that you fucking weak and I'm not. I'm strength. I ain't ashamed to be strength. I'm not ashamed to stand in my... 25 minutes to go right here on Negative 43. Power as the emperor in the spiritual realm, as a magician. I'm not afraid. I'm not living in fear. You are. So quit telling me what you're going to do and what you're going to say in this and I should be scared of y'all and... Since when was I ever scared of you? I fought you and I won. I'm tired of talking about the past. That's all. I'm tired of talking about negativity when there ain't none. I'm making over 30 bucks an hour. I'm so happy it's no real. Look, now they want to be quiet, right? Because what can they say? I have a piece right now. I've got, I, I paid over 165 for it. I got mad jewelry right now. Like, I'm literally collecting jewelry. I can buy any jewelry I want. Like I said, I'm getting paid today. I got some money coming in today. It ain't nothing. And you owe me money, bitch. Where's my money? I don't care how rich I get. Where's my money? I still want my money. I don't care if it's one red penny. I'm a street nigga, homie. Y'all know about me, bro. You know how I get down. You know what I mean? And it ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Y'all some internet ass clowns. I'm not going to fight you. Y'all don't want it. That's been made clear. Like I said, I'm in the street, though, dude. I, I really fucking live this shit. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. I don't care. You're going to hear a lot of shit about me about how I get down. I promise you. Baby, I need to know. Why are you so angry? Why are y'all so fucking mad all the time? So sexually frustrated. Huh? I know you're listening, cunt. You ain't got no life. Nope. You try to live an illusion. Hey, imagine me living an illusion. Imagine me being with someone that I'm unhappy with. Let me ask you something. What does that have to do with me? That's your fucked up life. What are you talking about? People have this and have that. You don't have anything and neither does that slouch. You live in a shithole. That guy returns to the show as did L. Frost. Okay, let's be realistic. You want to talk about having? <laughs> if only you knew. I'm a billionaire. I have it all. I have everything. The universe provides for me. I manifest wealth. What are you talking about? What do, what do you think money can't buy? I don't understand. Do you understand what over 30 bucks an hour means? What do you think? You going to take it from me? How? Ain't nothing I'm doing going nowhere. It doesn't matter what happens to me, what I go through. Nothing's going anywhere. Ever, because it's my shit. You know, listen, I own my own company now. He must have had two fifteen dollar an hour jobs the way he does math. I'm my own fucking boss. With my company, I make over thirty to fucking whatever forty an hour. This is not fake. It could end up being more than that. All I do is work. You understand? Like nonstop now. Everything is in a whole different paradigm now. Everything's changed that quickly. Because while you hating, what am I always doing? Building and progressing. I admire Nutword because he does what I do. I, I Even though he's not really legit about it and he does narc perception, I admire what he's representing and what he's speaking of. I admire it because it comes from me. If anything, I'm who inspired him to do it. You know what I mean? It's just my success is actually tangible. Like, you know, I'm not sick. Another marijuana-induced story. I was in what they used to call the workhouse in 1982. I will never, ever forget this. On a Sunday morning, they brought in a guy that was Tyree Sneed level nasty times three. He literally had fleas jumping off of him. Apparently, they didn't de-louse him. None of us knew what the hell was going on. But 10 minutes later, they came in and ran us all out to the shower. I will never forget this. This one guy stripped right there in the dormitory. 
and then wrapped a towel around himself and just kind of sauntered toward the door and looked over his shoulder and he said, any of y'all in here the homosexual persuasion, I'll be down at the end to the left. Good times. Sitting on no money. I, I'm not sitting on bullshit fucking tricycles that I can't sell. And I'm not talking down. I'm just being real realistic. Like I said, if you wanted to come have a conversation, we could talk about it. I'm, I'm, my scooter store is coming right around the corner. I'm going to outdo your scooter company, bro. And I'm not going to have to run to the Chinese to do it and beg for a PPP loan. And you already admitted that's what you got, so quit lying. Of course you got a PPP loan. Nobody can just come up on, on money out of nowhere, and you kept saying it was so much money. Well, where's the scooters? You showed us a couple of scooters, a couple of trikes, tricycles. You didn't show us a whole massive... Oh, this the first you said it's the first shipment. You feel me? Hey, if you feel that I'm lying, cunt, come on the pen. We could talk about it right now. I'm not lying. What did I lie about? See, they say things, but they won't have the conversation to them. What did I lie about? Name one fucking thing I lied about right now. You can't, because I didn't lie. These are the facts. It's on video on his channel. You didn't show multiple shipments. And even if you did, it wouldn't matter. You did that off a of PPP loan. You can't come off on money like that out of nowhere, bro. Something got to happen. You got to create some kind of transaction. All you did was you have good credit. You have good credit. So you were able to get a PPP loan. You begged the government. I don't think that's cool, man. I'm white. I'm not you. So I, I don't respect that. You're begging for handouts, not fuck. You're a bum. Period. But like I said, I'm not even putting you down. I like what you're doing and I want you to keep it up. I support you 100%. As a matter of fact, let me put it to you like this. If you'll start coming and talking to me on my show and start doing some shows with me and put your hate behind, because if you was hating, I have no issue with you. If you'll do that, I'll put money into your business. I'll fund your fucking business. How about that? You won't need any of this fake shit on a, I got Walmart. And where's the money? You don't have Walmart. I got American Express yesterday. To do what? So you think some bum nobody... In the middle of the cab, Illinois, you think they're gonna sponsor you and pay you money to fund a piece of shit product? No. You sound fucking stupid, bro. You're delusional. It's all fantasies, man. And why are you doing it? All because you come online and beg for the bums validation. And that's a fact. If you want to talk, if you come and do the shows with me, I will fund your fucking company. I will fund. Um, what's it called again? It's stolen from a bunch of other companies. I will fund Oh My God LLC out my own fucking pocket. How about that? All you got to do is come to this goddamn show and have a conversation with me. If you do that, I will literally fund your fucking company out my own pocket. So what do you want to do? Do you want to combine scooter companies? Because you're going to have to. I'm telling you right now. You know you can't fuck with me, nutty. Let's be realistic, man. It's just like I own a record label. I'm the CEO of it. You don't have a record label. It's just like that bitch. She can't fuck with me. Can't nobody fuck with me. Like I said, if, if my dick wasn't the biggest, I couldn't just immediately go to the chick that I want. I couldn't immediately have another girl right there. Like, I have options. I wouldn't, and, and I don't have to do it like you where I try to keep them, like, I, and, and set shit up while I'm with someone else. I know. I didn't even do any of that. I just have options. Because I'm shining star. Feel me? The Batman movie, I don't know. It's going to take a minute. I'm not doing it right now. I'm not working on it yet. But it'll come. You know, I can tell you right now, I got all the resources to do it already. Like I said, the next step is I'm um, getting the uh, Bat Cycle. I've got all that in line already. Um, I'm already doing prototypes of that. And I'm getting the bat cycle, and then I'm going to strap a GoPro, and you're going to see me riding around. But I'm also going to have to build the bat suit, so that kind of has to come first. It's kind of like bat suit, then bat cycle, then bat Batmobile. They might happen out of order. Um, like I said, I'm going to be purchasing cars, like, right around the corner, some new vehicles, building a whole new lot. I got a whole bunch of shit coming in. Right now, I own five luxury whips, okay? Um, everything is is on point man i have proof of all my shit i have people who see proof of all my shit every day i just don't fuck with y'all period i know you're upset it's okay 
have a good cry. We'll get through this. I know you're, I know you're mad. I know it's hard to accept the reality that I'm making over 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks an hour, and that you don't make shit. <laughs> Jessica's mad. Or that fake account of Jessica. It's that you're no white man. <laughs> For real. You're no white man. <laughs> I would love to be in the crowd. Like, I wish this was a live show. Can you imagine the crowd? You're no white man. Throwing tomatoes and shit. You're no white man. The dude's just up there talking about his success. You're no white man. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, I cheated on him with a limp dick. Like, imagine being in a crowd saying this type of shit. Like, these people live in shame. These people are like ostriches with their heads down in the fucking dirt in a hole. They're hiding and running. That's you, the sniveling little laughing bitches. It is hilarious. They taking over the energies and all the readings with their witchcraft. Tom Cruise, work your witchcraft to get the fire off me. Apparently your witchcraft just makes me laugh. Because I'm happy as hell right now. Apparently all it does is bring me good things. I mean, now I'm making so much money I can't see straight. I'm going to have so much money I don't know what to do. I get paid today. I already got fucking plenty of dough in the book. I'm not kidding, bro. I'm making over 20 bucks an hour. Plus more. You understand? How can you say something to me? I'm making over 30, 40, 50 bucks an hour. It's going to fluctuate. You know what I mean? And there ain't shit you can do about it. Stop me now, huh? Like I told you, keep hating. You can't stop a moving train. That's all I know. I think it's fucking awesome. So see, they so mad, they don't even know what to say no more, so they just type bullshit. That's what's so funny. They have nothing to say to me, so they just fuck. They try to say things to get underneath your skin because they butt hurt. Y'all don't hurt my feelings, though. Y'all ain't saying shit. But I'm underneath your skin. See, like it's yes, Lily. That is exactly what he said. You didn't hear him incorrectly at any in any way whatsoever. He's he's gotten a lot worse. Um, certifiable, as they used to say. I told you it's always the same. I bother you. You don't bother me at all. So, like I said. Batman movie coming, Bat Cycle, Batmobile, all this is legit, 100% real. Like I said, I just purchased a $165 chain. That was cheap for what it's worth because the chain and the medallion are both worth more than that. I got the whole shit for $165. But see, I'm spending money like that. So like I said, like, nutty, like, if you sign with my record label, like, you're going to get jewelry. I'll have you laced with jewelry and diamonds. I'm going to have everything coming from my artists, like... Y'all going to see I'm going to end up making Jared either a customized chain or I'm gonna, just going to send him the money and have him buy a chain that I choose with him. Um, but he's just going to have to listen to me, man. I do need you to listen. Like, I, I'm going to tell you, you know, we, we can you can take me with you on video and we can pick out a chain that you like and I'll send you the money and you can buy it. If you want, to, we, if you want we'll do it live on YouTube. I'd like to get Jared with a chain so he can promote Cash the Fame. Um, I want all my artists wearing my chains, man, and my shit. I want them representing my label. I got a lot of shit coming, bro. So like I said, it was a good try trying to get me to believe that I'm not shit and all the wishful thinking you have because you're hating on me. Why would you hate on me if I wasn't shit? It's not possible because I'm the shit. You know, I got the biggest cop. And Christina going to tell you, don't worry. Christina want to put hands and feet all over you, old bitch ass Ronald McDonald. That's number one. Number two, um, I'm not even fucking trying to stop that or hold her back no more at all. You know what I mean? She, she, can, she can fucking do what she needs to do because she feels it's her right and it is. Like, she want to stop you out with your fat ass because of how you treated me and what you did to me because it's inhumane and sick and wrong and fucked up and completely unprovoked and for no reason. What's wrong with you? Again, why would you do that? But they don't have an answer. Sorry, bro. I don't do weird ass long. It's midnight Eastern time. I am Rich Baritone, and you are, of course, watching Negative 43 KUNT TV, Sneedville Purgatory. I'd like to say hello to 
Lily's kids, how you doing? We're doing pretty darn good here. We have about 10 more minutes I was thinking about going on, but at the same time, I've already been here four hours and my mental state perhaps isn't as stable as it should be as a result of it. You, you know what exposure to Tyree's need can do to you. So we'll get back to it right here, right now. And we're going to finish this up, finish it up strong. And I'll have a couple of notes for you before we shut it down this evening. Here go. Oh, Tracy Moore, everybody say hi. Name, so you don't have to get an identity and come in this goddamn fucking town. So like I said, y'all can't talk to me. You can't phase me. You can't fade me. You tried real hard to get me to believe a lie. No, my dick is the biggest. I know that other than anyone. And like I said, you don't. Claddy, my email is richbaritone at mail.com. That's richbaritone at mail.com. Everybody send me shit. Or maybe not shit, but emails would be nice. You don't talk like that because that's the point. Like, how would you be comparing? That's kind of weird. Are you proud of being a whore? Like I said, man, any bitch that promotes whoredom is always going to fail. Now, look, they're always going to be in poverty. Ladies and gentlemen, Jenny is here. Jenny is here. Everybody, say good morning. How are you today? They're always going to make it nowhere. Boredom is not a weapon. Boredom is not anything to promote or brag about. That's disgusting. Any woman with shame is ashamed of that. Especially when it ain't for sex. It's out of spite and validation. All my company's running, man. Cashless Bane is running full speed. I have a record label. I'm making a lot of connections. Everything's going great with the promotion. I don't know what else to tell you, bro. Like, I, I honestly don't. Hold up, I'm handling something. If I see this bitch again, if I see this bitch again, <laughs> gotta hop on this track. I would smack her, send her back packing, cause they lack it. I'm out carjacking. Come on, wrap them, wrap them straight trash bars for us, nutty. Like I said, you was hot in the 90s, homie. You fell the fuck off. You want me to lie to you? You fell off. You fill the fuck off. You could have made it. You could have been something, and you, you you bullshitted about it, and your career went fucking nose diving into the goddamn sea like a fucking sick pelican. Come on, man. These people ain't nothing but fucking zoo animals. Literally. Come on, man. I don't fall for y'all's little tr I certainly hope so. I'm, I'm actually pretty psyched this evening. I'm certainly not going to bed at the end of the show. So, boy, I, I hope I like it. I'm going to need a lot of liking right about now. So I'll be checking that out very shortly after we sign off this evening. It's only got 10 minutes left. Let me shut up so we can get this the hell over. Rick. But yeah, man, like I said, now that I've proven all this shit wrong, literally by myself, wait till y'all get a load of Christina, because she's going to fucking defecate on you people. She's pissed. She hates you. She's really not pissed. She's We're absolutely never going to get done. Pam Frost, this would be perfect for you to come back to the airwaves with. It would be. It would be absolutely perfect i would do it now but i'm kind of running out of gas and i don't really do panels i'm kind of the roast comedian we have two people here frost pam and shamrock three people who run wonderful panels and i'd like to leave it to the professionals it's happy as fuck, but I'm just saying she hates you like she's got a lot of fucking fury and, and rage and anger for y'all she hates you 
She hates this old cunt. She can't stand her. And I can see why, because she really has a heart and really cares for me. And what you did to me is beyond sick. That's why she stood up for me every time. And I want to say thank you and I love you. But Christina is everything I've ever wanted. She is so much more beautiful than you. You were ugly as fuck. She is beautiful inside and out. She is perfect. And I'm in the blondes anyway, just so you know. Like, while I was with you, I was jerking off the blonde porn. Might as well have that confession and say the truth. That's real shit. I told Christina. While I was with you, I'd have to go and jack off the fucking blondes. Because I like blondes. I don't like brunettes. I'm just saying. I gotta think of So it is what it is, man. It ain't gonna change. Oh, he's went quiet. Let me go in here and gently move it forward. He'll be hoping for somebody to move it gently forward very shortly. He may have already lived that experience. Here we go. Little bit more. Little bit more. Little bit more. Nothing. 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 This could be it, kids. Nothing. So, good luck, because y'all go. Hmm. Okay, let's just go. So, good luck, because y'all going to have to deal with it. And I'm looking forward to it, and I'm excited. Honestly, I think it's hilarious. But she's pissed. And, I mean, who wouldn't be? I mean, look at look at how you treated a human being. And you're a coward about it. That's the worst part. You're not going to face her. She's going to be on your ass like on her ass. Christina boxes. I'm going to teach her 52 blocks and everything. That's right. 52 blocks. That ain't shit funny about. Because I keep using it and breaking everybody off. I don't. All right, everybody, we have come to an end yet again. I want to thank everybody for stopping in. This went a lot better than I thought it would. A uh, couple of notes to take with you as you leave this evening. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to stream again. I don't know what the content's going to be, but there will be probably about a two-hour stream from 9 to 11 p.m. there thereabouts so keep an eye out for that there will be a rich baritone interview episode this week i am working on that as well so look out for that i've got all kinds of baritone reed sneed in the can i'll be parceling that out over the next few weeks since we're we're going to need some content to get us through this and I believe that is probably about it for right now. So thank you, everybody. It's been not just a good day. It's been a great day um, relative to this thing that I have come to call Sneedville over the years. Uh, truly, truly historic. Truly historic. Lily, thank you so much for uh, stopping in. And we're, we're looking forward to seeing you back around here very, very soon. Uh, Platy, thank you. Nacho, friend, thank you all so very much. I am going to go do something, and, and I hope there is no Sneed for a long time as well. There are other things that I want to do, like what we may have going here tonight. In fact, when we get done here, I'm going to start looking up old Dick Tracy movies until I find what I am looking for. Everybody, thank you so much. I am Rich Baritone. This is Negative 43 KUNTTV Sneedville Purgatory. And until the next time, I'll talk to you.